Should we recap? Sure, let's recap. Who wants to do it? I'll do it. Didn't you <laughs> Matt, last no. time? You, no. you, give, yeah, you give the, like, 48 minute recap. No. You're like, first he rolled an 18, but then he rolled a 19. Alex, and that was enough. Us. Okay. So, <laughs> we are in this do do town, that. and uh, his dwarven friend decides to uh, have a alien-like creature come out of it, which we find out it was a slod. I don't know if he decided to. <laughs> it didn't sound like he uh, consented. <laughs> we tracked it, uh, found out that it was eating dead things, and eventually jumped in the river. Uh, fast forward a little bit, uh, I've been talking to a priest, trying to get some stuff figured out with uh, my legs being regrown, and... Uh, uh, generally, just trying to get some information for the new character because his uh, his prince is sick. Because that was the reason, one of the reasons he came here was to find out that information. And uh, we keep coming across the slod, trying to kill it so that it doesn't overtake the town. And we followed it down to the sewers. Uh, we killed what we believe to be all the slod. Um, Super slod. There's two kids that are still infected, and I believe everybody in the group is possibly also infected. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Why did you have to remind me? Yeah, everybody's infected. <laughs> He's slot of trying to take over the world by infecting every single person in the world. And we had Turning an, him into slotty. We had an NPC uh, cleric that came with us, essentially. That uh, I live. I live, yes. Yes. He, he does uh, lift. The man single-handedly of the Single-handedly saved the group. It's kind of amazing, because he was supposed to die. Yeah, I titled books. last episode when red shirts wear capes. I saw that. That was a good title, because I lift did the shit out of stuff. I lift lift. Well, so just finished my, the battle, yeah. yep. and we're waiting for me to wake up because I went down. I'm oh, suffering yeah. three levels of exhaustion because I went down four times. And he's still down for like I'm eight hours or three mm-hmm. times. Your shoulder or something. Yeah, he that's can't what you carry think. You. He can't walk hardly. Yeah. You're probably still on the ground over there. <laughs> I can carry. I could carry Temujin. Oh. Putting you by the children, hanging you Temujin's up with like Kenyatta. a fly. Three levels of exhaustion, you can barely lift your weapon. Yeah, you can't. You can't lift anything, man. Your like speed is halved. If you pick yeah. up anything extra, your speed's gonna drop to like five. Sure. I don't know. Ten, right? Sure. We'll half it again. I'm forty. My speed is half was twenty. And if I'm carrying Temujin, you really can't carry your gear. Almost it's, like it's, you can't. It's not walk. like you're putting down all your gear. Is this another thing so where, great. like, you can't jump 10 feet, but then I jump 10 feet? You didn't jump yeah. 10 feet. We kind of, it was like really nine and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but you're also not <laughs> nine, like you claimed you could do when you're nine. Yeah. So, I I was right nine. now, where bullshit. you're at, it's basically like you didn't sleep for three days. So, <laughs> in, right. in person, if you didn't sleep for three days, how would you feel? Would you be able You'd to. You'd be fucked up, man. Yeah. Well, just. <laughs> without that. Let's. Pass the blow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let the dice decide. Two <laughs> hours past my bedtime, I look like a pumpkin. <laughs> Sometimes you look like a pumpkin now. <laughs> well, that's going to be like up so early. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm just tired as hell then. Will be dee doo. Will be dee doo. Will be dee doo. Will be dee doo. That's our new catchphrase. Will be dee doo. All right, Mr. Rogers. Matt, 2019. Will be dee doo. Will be doo. That's great. Maybe that's from the Teletubbies or something? I don't know what it's from. It was from my mind. In the dark recesses of Matt's brain. His thought meat. The 7 a.m. Mm. recesses it's of his It's 8 a.m. We're so slow. <laughs> okay, we got to get going All right, here. so yeah. who's still up? I'm up. I'm up. I lift's up. I lift is up. I oh, lift is it. like kind of freaked out. Yeah, is he's like, really he's got like the post fight. We are both not up. Like shades. He's got eight hours. He's like... uh Oh my mister, oh my mister, that was that was crazy. Are there more coming? Oh. No, I I believe that was it. Uh, I don't smell anymore. Okay, he kinda yeah. like sits down abruptly where he's at. Oh good plan, and I crash to the ground. I'll go yeah. and drag Temujin's body away from the edge of the water. He's just right here. Isn't that the edge right there? That's right here, yeah, yeah. that's the edge. 
He's so like I'll drag him away. into this um, cove over here. Where the kids are? Yeah. Okay, they're all freaked out. The little girl's crying. The but little the little boy was... Trying to calm her. Yeah. I'll go sit with the children. Okay, start making your way over. Slaw! Slaw! <laughs> <laughs> boy, kinda, they go into the corner, and he's like, please, Mr. Please well, don't hurt us. I put my us. weapon away. I don't, I don't look okay. like my mini. Right? Like, I have my like, do sword it, kids. drawn in the air. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> What is your names? Names. <laughs> you, you did have two weeks to look those up. <laughs> so, like, I'm not going to do any work in between games. Are you crazy? Well, you don't want to call them Jack and Jill? Maybe they went up the hill. My name's Tavon, and she's Celise. <laughs> those are stupid names. <laughs> They're randomly generated. Fair enough. I mean, better than ass fun. That is true. <laughs> that was a good All name. ass fun. <laughs> that was not a good name. It wasn't ass fun. Yeah. But say like ass fun. <laughs> ass fun. That's the someone with a lisp saying ass fun. <laughs> Do not worry. We will get you out of here. We're going to rest a little bit. Do you have food and water? We have food right here. There's water in the pool. I would not drink that. I'll hand them my canteen. Okay. I got this fresh from the wells. Thank you, mister. Please don't hurt us. We are not here to hurt you. He looks over to where the rest of the kids disappeared into a sphere of evil. I don't say nothing. <laughs> we'll do whatever you say, he says. Would you want to go back to the city, to the surface? We can take you to the priest. He will heal you right up. He will take care of you. All right, whatever you say. Do you have a home up there? No, sir. We're orphans. We'll get you all taken care of. Thank you, sir. I'm not going to try to prolong conversation, so I'll go back, make sure the robot's okay. I mean, he's not okay. <laughs> That's why he's down, face down in the mud. But he's alive. Don't know how to check for that. No pulse. Some I'll, I'll give him a good, good breath. <laughs> I'm giving. I'm going to give breathe. him a good knock on the on the skull. Just, Metal man. Two deaths it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> Metal <laughs> man. Oh. I live. Heal him. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm out. Oh. Uh, I'll try to drag him again. And I'm going to try to pick him up again. You can't. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe we will sit down here until they recover. <sighs> that sounds like a good idea. You look like you needed a rest. <laughs> sure. All right, so you guys wait for an hour to roll some hit dice. <laughs> oh, I don't just go up to one. What do you guys do for an hour? Chit mm -hmm. chat, draw a penis on your face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, here, kids, this one is called Red Rover. Yeah, I he's he'll be out for eight hours, so. I, I, what my I stare directly into the kids' eyes. So you go over there and just stare at them? <laughs> Man, I want to make sure they don't want to run time. away, so I'll mm -hmm. go and I'll sit cross-legged. I'll just... <laughs> Let's see. Okay, the girl cries. No, 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 no. Like, at the edge of the cove. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. She probably me. still cries. Yeah, she sees you and cries. You're covered in the blood of someone who cared for her. Mm -hmm. Mama Red. Something. Don't be afraid, little one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just a bit stoic. Okay, I'm back up. All right. Sweet. Now we just got to wait for this guy. You guys going in there for eight hours? What's your strength? 
You can carry Temujin. Anybody can carry Temujin. I can't. How can I can you, drag him. How can you not carry Temujin? I got a strength of 16. And a strength of 8. You can carry Temujin pretty easily. You don't think you could carry 40 pounds? No, in addition to everything how, else I carry. How, how heavy he, is if Temujin? We, if we were counting encumbrance, he probably could carry I have carry 110 pounds on myself right now already. He probably really, in reality, couldn't carry that with the strength of 8. Yeah, dude. Knock some of that shit out. We don't dude. count gear, really. Well, I'm not getting rid of my flute. Yeah, you are. Well, Give me my hand axe. I take the flute and I throw it across it's the room. It's in my fucking bag. You don't need Get this. Out of here. <laughs> carry Temujin. <laughs> it's mostly my armor, honestly. Okay. I'll carry Temujin. Okay. I'll reach out my hand to the little kids. Okay, the girl starts crying harder. Oh. Take my hand, little one. I'll oh. show you the way to safety. So the boy kind of shies away and he's like, we'll follow you. And reach my hand out to the little boy. Take my hand. No, thank you. We'll follow you, sir. Don't worry. We'll do whatever you say. I'm telling you to take my hand. No, thank you, sir. You said you were going to do whatever I said. Please, sir, don't hurt us. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Are you not doing what... <sighs> Elf man. Damn it. These children are not listening to me. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? They said that they would follow. Maybe we should leave and ensure that oh, they follow. fine. Just follow us. All right. When they walk mm -hmm. past the bodies of the dead slide, they, like, the little girl is kind of inconsolable. The little boy looks away. They follow you guys out. I'll stay behind and I'll, uh... No, I won't do that. But I'll stay. I'll take the six. I looked at the little girl when we crossed the bodies. <clears throat> Why do you weep for this one? She's not going to talk to you. <laughs> the little boy says, uh, they treated us well, sir. And you have no one to treat you well up there? We're orphans, sir. Hmm. Sometimes we can sleep behind the oven in the soup kitchen. That would be very warm. We are going to take you to the priest. All right. He will care for you. I live talks with the children a little bit. That's probably better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get them to follow you guys. The blue uh, slot is starting to disintegrate into some kind of a blue slush. Not again. That's what they do. Into the cistern. Mm hmm All right. We can't do nothing about that. Okay. Um, everybody give me a constitution save. Uh, really everybody? <coughs> Wait, did we have an hour? Everybody. I would love yeah. to spend my hit dice. Yeah. I'm going to do that first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to spend some hit dice as well. Yeah. <laughs> <Bail. laughs> Uh, oh, you rolled dice. <laughs> <laughs> Had a short rest. Uh, five. You have rolled nothing good this whole <laughs> fucking game. Man. I know. That's why I'm pushing for a new campaign. It's nothing to do with your story. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just I can't roll at all. Four. I've carved three holes, a six of the way through the dice under the twenty. So that side is phenomenally lighter. Doesn't well, matter. It doesn't give a shit. Nope. Ryan touched it one time and rolled a natural 20 with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just put it back in the dice tray very uh, gently with a roll, and it rolled a natural 20. I roll a 5 on constitution save when I'm already unconscious and infected. <laughs> Ugh. One more. So, I think that's ooh, karma for mutilating my dice, you bastard. <laughs> Bingo. I'm one hit point shy of full, but that's okay. Right. So, constitution saves dice. fail. Two, three, oh yeah, constitution. 15. Can I rage and frenzy and then roll it? No. Can I become a green slot and maintain PC you levels? No. <laughs> <Not really>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will, but no. I don't want to tell him. Did you roll one? I don't want to tell him. Well, you got to roll it again and find out. Oh, I don't want to oh nice. I don't want to tell him. <laughs> Did you double one? No, but Close. I don't want to tell him. <laughs> true botch, though. Okay, true botch. Okay, so you guys are walking. You're carrying Temujin. At some point, he's just like, uh, 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 and like blue stuff starts to seep out of his face holes. Uh, I'll cast Lesser Restoration on him. Oh, there you go. 
Hey. You wait until he expels blue <laughs> stuff out of the orifice. Is blue on your ass? <laughs> You have, like, these weird, like, bad stomach feelings. Think about, like, eating bad chili. And you're going to shit blue into your pants. Uh, I'll look to the priest and say, uh, would you mind using lesser restoration on him? Sorry, I'm out. I believe you took my ring and it had one charge in there. He didn't. I don't think he attuned to the ring, did he? It's been know. an hour. They said that. Uh, That's why we gave it, it to him. Okay, you guys let him tune to it. Sure, so he tunes to it. So, uh, and it had one charge left? Yep, it had one of the lesser resto. He'll resto cast now. lesser resto on you. <laughs> After what I shit myself, though. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. What about the kids? Yeah. Roll for the kids. Oh. They don't have to roll. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I got a 20 on my I hope roll. Ryan has to kill him. I'll just put him in front of the mall. <laughs> so. <laughs> Line them up. One, so, two. <laughs> so I'm just walking around with shitty britches now. <laughs> hmm? oh, great. I mean, you're in the sewer, so it's not that bad. Hey, it's running down your legs. There's some chaffing issues. You should take the six. <laughs> 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 what? I'll, I'll go in front. You can go behind me. Uh, I want oh. the point the little boy puts his hand against the wall to steady himself, and you realize that his fingers and that hand have become webbed. Uh. Well, we're getting out of here quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys make your way back towards the temple. Uh, you come out of the sewers. Both of the children are like... The light's really bright for them. Oh, I cover the little girl's eyes. Okay, she shrinks away from you and shrieks. <laughs> they go I with you keep, guys I keep walking. to the temple. You show up at the temple. Oh, can I ask a... What's the name again? Ilith. Uh, can I get his uh, my uh, ring back? Oh yeah, sure. Here you go. Thank you. <clears throat> Did you ever think about joining the adventure, the life of the wanderer? No, actually, not at all. Hmm. Uh, I'm very, a librarian. You did very well for yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we could use an extra hand in our travel. Um, I'm not sure. I, I'd, I'd have to talk to Saul and see what he thinks. I turned and I'll turn and look into him. We have lost our hero, healer. We could use someone like you. I'm really not a healer. Usually, I just read books. That is not the truth. You healed us. Without you, we would not be here. These children would be dead. This city might be dead. When you say that some of the children mean dead, he kind of like looks away and looks kind of nauseated. Mm. <laughs> You have done a very good thing. Thank you. Really. Uh, let's let's just get back. We'll see what Saul says. I'm looking at it right at the church or the library. Already well, done, you guys are we? getting back yeah, now. You're walking in. Uh, the priests are kind of shocked. Some of them kind of come over. Yeah, we're uh, bringing the kids right to Saul. Okay. Saul! I'll walk in and start screaming Saul's name. Where are, so he <laughs> It's walks still over. a little early for where, me. He's a, <laughs> where are the rest of the children? <laughs> But, uh, they did not make it. They were already far gone. The infected tried to escape. They were going to get into the city. Temujin under the bus dealt with that. I, I try to look at him, give him the huge <laughs> eyes. Oh. I see. Well, bring the children to my study. I'll make them comfortable. It may take some time to purge the infection from them. Can you purge the infection from me? I'll have one of the other brothers assist you. I also require the same. I purged my infection on the way here. In your past. I can tell. (laughs) (laughs) So, some clerics come over. That is what the stench is. And, uh, lesser resto, you guys. Mm -hmm. Heal you. Um, hey, you'll wake up finally. You get seven hit points. Can you pass me the coffee? Yes, I get it. He gave me seven hit points. I'm not missing this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anybody else vote on where you guys should go yet? 
Or just have well, the I don't think the up? you asked when everyone was here yet. Is everyone mm-hmm. here now? We have oh, more people. Not everyone. Someone's. Someone's. We got thirty-five in there. Okay, listen. So I asked this at the beginning of the game, but uh, I, I need you guys to vote on where to send these guys next. I can either push them towards the swamp or push them towards the desert. So they he either deal with. He can get us where he wants. We're just gonna go somewhere else. I don't think I get them to do what I want, but I might be able to get them to go where I want. So, maybe. You're for gonna a little dangle bit. a hook. Should we even like try to take the bait? No, we're going to stay here and take over the city, right? Yeah. Temujin's going to be king of... Where are we at? Can even? we start a new guild? Guild. Mm-hmm. Start a new game. <laughs> <laughs> the swamps are the desert, so it's fighting awesome swamp creatures or trying to survive in a desert. I don't know how to make a vote. I know there's a way you can do it sometimes. I mean, we'll just like tally what everybody, everybody says. Is there anybody else? Everybody? Just vote desert or swamp. Is there anybody out there? I think there's people here. <laughs> Matt oh. said there's people here. Yeah, there's 35 people Let's here. Say, oh, Demogen. Welcome oh. back to life, friend. Oh. How do you feel? Well, that was the first I've... Your I've accent is different. In a, in a many days. I cast Scorching Ray on him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I read you guys a different... Like, burn him to dirt. Mm. Temujin, I don't think that was considered sleeping. This is something that you brought up last week. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, yeah. What? Well, pause. You're going to have an interlude with Oz while you're asleep. Da, 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 da. How's it happen? Weekends with Oz. Right. What's up? How's it happen? How's what happen? Did the little oh. kids die and then turn around and look at him and start talking or something? No, no he just, unconscious. when he falls unconscious, he mm. he just finds himself in the room. Okay. I like the last time he was on the pot while he was talking about it. That was pretty yeah, it's pretty good. So he's like, oh, you finally decided to lay down for a little while. Uh, yeah, I had, had this great idea where I'd... Uh, Talk that blue slot into helping me take a nap. Mm. Yeah. That's perfect. Good plan. Uh, so, so, you're welcome. Uh, all right, I'll bite four. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I uh, uh, infected the slot. With? Intelligence. Oh. Uh, Hey, that was a great idea. It yeah. made it very interesting when it was chasing me around and planning things and such. Oh, yeah, you're welcome for that, too. It thought that that little piece of me and you was a little piece of it. After it infected you, I used the contact to uh, you know, change a few things in its basic building blocks to give it more of a brain. And also, I used the stuff that it gave you to pattern uh, some pieces of that floating rib that I gave you there in order to keep it thinking that you were infected. Because uh, why not? It's fun. That's why. Just in case you were wondering. <clears throat> what about the... But the blue one tried to infect me too. Yeah, well, there I didn't get a chance to really, you know, smarts him up. I had one shot. So I well, gave you what I could. Did you do anything with the, the one shot I took from him? You, you didn't... Uh... Nope, that was it. Take any of the samples? I can't really change a lot of things. Man, I didn't know I had such a crap god. <laughs> well, I mean, we're not gods. Uh-huh. Uh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I know. Because you're not good at it. Wow. Really, you are so grateful. No, because I'm young. Uh, and some of my siblings are a lot older and would like to consume me. Mm. And so I have to kind of stay under the radar. Right. But, you know, I don't care if you guys close the doors to your world and sever the connections because I've got a window. Yeah, I thought you specifically asked me to close all the doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, my, a lot of my relatives would think that that's a horrible plan. They're all pushing to see who can get into position to be the first one to consume your planet. So we're like... 
Sorry. <laughs> we're, the, we're the last donut in the tray. I just bumped your head. Yeah, everyone gets to, to <laughs> see you're not the last. You're just the one closest to the edge where people are sitting. So why can't they all have another donut? I mean, they are. All right. I, I have to admit, I'm not really 100% on board with your game. But I guess that's part of the fun for you. He smiles, and his smile gets like, ridiculously large and there's oh. way too many teeth in there. You have no idea what a human looks like. That's amazing. I mean, this is my <laughs> best guess, really. You should come hang out. Come see. I do see. Fun. All the time. So, am I going to am I going to survive this blue goo in me? I mean, yes. Survive. Yes. Am I? Me? Temujin? Oh, Maybe. Depends what your friends do. <clears throat> your body is failing you. I've noticed. You got any more of them upgrades in the pipeline? You're imagining that uh, you're going to take away anything else I like. No more sleeping in on Saturdays. Do you like food? Please. Let's maybe. I changed my mind. I don't want to talk about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. How are the boats going? It's just swamp one desert. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, listen. You're going to have a choice soon coming up. And, uh... So I will survive. Probably. I, I can't let you die now. That's what I'm saying. I mean, really, how much fun would it be for me if I could no longer look into your little world without having to open a door? Do you know the amount of energy opening a door takes? Mm. A lot. All right. It's anyway, easier and choices. more fun. You're so much fun. Yeah. Well, that's what. No, no one ever said that. No, actually. <laughs> well, then I'm great that I get to be the first. That's awesome. I'm humongously pleased. Yeah, something like that. See, so you say you ha I have a choice coming. Mm -hmm. Is that all? You sound like a f fucking weak ass fortune cookie. You have a great choice coming in your path. Yeah, you're going to get to either go, look, there's a library under a swamp nearby. What's the name of the swamp, guys? Out again. Ass. <laughs> swamp Ass. Did you name no. it? I did name it, yeah. Oh, you did ass name fun. it. Ass Fun. That was way back at the beginning. Ass, not Ass Fun. Yeah, yeah, I did name it. Way it was back way back by the first place we went. Lock, Lock Murath. Yeah, Lock Morath. Oh, it's Mirith. It's Mirith. The Swamp of Mirith. I wrote, yeah. Right. Well, Mirith. Mirith. That's where the five halflings were going. Right. <clears throat> I wrote it in accent. <laughs> Look, there's there's a library underneath Mirith, uh, the swamp, and there are a lot of answers there. It's a dangerous, dangerous... So it's kind of like one of those, you know, you ever play that game where, like, you can double down or else you can fold... What's that called? I don't know. Twister. Sure. Anyways, you can either think about it. It's pretty funny. Go look for the library, and there are untold amounts of riches there, both knowledge and items which you would probably like to have. Um, or presents. You could travel over the mountains into the desert, where there will be less good things waiting for you, but it may be less dangerous. Maybe who knows? I don't know. Depends on how fast you get there. Well, fucking hell, you already said you didn't, weren't going to let me die. Let's go get to danger. Not this time, yeah. but at some point your death might be useful to me. Uh, of course, yeah, I, I understand. Just, ah, never mind. Anyway, yeah, you got plans for me. I'm feeling pretty confident that we're going down to this library. And not letting you die isn't the same as preserving Temujin, right? There's a lot of ways you can live, friend, and we can explore some of those if you're not careful. I'm going to be famous. Also, I got no reason whatsoever to go out past the mountains. The dwarves are out in that range for hundreds of years and never went west. No, There's got to be a reason. Yeah, because they hate the desert. Yeah, and yeah, I would hate the desert too. 
Okay, don't think I'm going to go there. Oh, hey, it's time for you to wake up, by the way. But are, don't you want to get... Well, I'm right over you. <coughs> oh, damage. Anything to... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, Temujin, you're alive. Welcome back. Uh, morning, sunshine. Uh, oh, what the, what the hell did you eat? <laughs> Your breath is amazing. Uh. Was that just not his breath? Was that his what was in his pants? What the fuck? <laughs> I purged myself. That. <laughs> that. He purged his bowels. Uh, now, excuse me. I'm gonna go find a. Bed to lay. No, oh, no, you take a bath. Where can I do that? Uh, in a bath. Mm. Saul, do you have a bath? Uh, Saul? Oh. There's a rain bucket out back you can avail yourself of. Yes. But I'll go do that. I'll go. Oh, they've got a bunch of barrels lined up along the back of the building that collect rainwater. Maybe I will. That sounds like a good idea. I am still a little dirty. Hey, my fingers aren't turning blue. That's awesome. Z- Z- your friend Axe has helped you. You were not looking well when I uh, was carrying you. You were looking a little blue. No, my eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> You looked worse than normal with your eyes closed. I'm going to go clean up and go to bed. Are oh, you guys going to take a bath to together? Bed. It's it's pretty early in the morning still. It's before lunch. Do you guys leave in the morning? Is it? Oh. Yeah, did, oh. We did leave in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, rewrite my memory. Right. <laughs> yeah, maybe uh, I go take a nap. Ilef is like, let's get some lunch together. Lunch sounds good. Do you know of any good uh, establishments? I mean, we make our own food right here. Oh, hey, that sounds all right. I like lunch. What, right now? Let's, let's, uh... Well, first I, we have to... I've been hungry. We probably should clean up. Now I'm, this is what I was saying. And oh. then afterwards we'll get some food together. Well, if you all want to take a bath together, I guess it can do it, but it's... A I mean, it's not, I don't even take a bath. Yeah. He casts Prestidigitation and cleans himself. <gasps> What was that? Oh, here, let me help you. Hey. And he presses digitates you, you, and you, and you. This <laughs> is better than a bath. Yeah, I left this. Yeah. I'm half like, tempted yeah, to let you. Well, maybe not. That's fantastic. You hear me in the back showering in the <laughs> rainwater. <laughs> Ain't no mountain bigger than me. <laughs> <Just using laughs> <the microphone. laughs> <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> mm. So I love gets himself clean. He gets you guys clean. He gets some of the brothers together and the sisters, and they go ahead and start making a meal. They clean some of the books off the tables down here in the first floor and start putting together some food and sliding tables together and stuff. Can I assist them in cooking? <sighs> I mean, sure. I'm proficient with cook tools. Yeah, go for it. Um, That's right, you are. He's proficient that, in everything. Is <laughs> that dexterity? Uh, intelligence? I'd say intelligence. Look at or this guy. Wisdom. He gets his wisdom? legs back, yeah, he wisdom. wants to do stuff. <laughs> Sits out an entire six hour game, wants to do stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see, my proficiency is three, so that'd be a uh, 15. Oh, yeah, 15 is good. Yeah, so they're making like rice and stewed vegetables and stuff like that. No meat. Right. Um, some beans, and they kind of have like this sort of uh, tomato-based sauce they throw in everything. Mm. Tomato sauce? Sure. I mean, it's not like we would think of tomato sauce. Ours is a lot of like, brown sugar and shit in it. There's is kind of like acidic and sort of spicy. Mm. It tastes kind of different, but it's a tomato-based sauce. It's a red sauce. And then they kind of get it all together. <sighs> During the putting everything together and get everything set up, you see at some point Saul's in the front of the building. He's talking to one of the captain, the guard. Ilef's out there with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah. Actually, I have a question for either. So I'll go Peter Patterin over. Okay. Apologize, charisma players. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi guys. Am I interrupting? No, everything's oh. fine. The 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 captain of the guard wanders off, and the conversation's done. I turns over to you. What do you mean everything's fine? It's not what I ask. It makes me nervous. You mean everything's Sorry. fine? Yeah, no, you're not interrupting. Everything's fine. What can I help you with? Ilaf looks kind of like, like he's not trying to be shady. All right. Uh, hmm. Hey, you're a you're a big researcher, mappy library guy, right? Mm, yeah. Do you got uh, you got any information on uh, Lok Mirith? Him and uh, Saul look at each other. And they look back at you, and Saul was like, "Well, I was actually going to suggest that your party take uh, take some time to go to Loch Merith." What do you mean? Well, there's a library there that has the answers that he seeks. Am I over there? <laughs> You're just pointing to me way over. Yeah, the he table. just points to you. Even you know, right. <laughs> I. Definitely agree with that assessment. I think that would be a great idea. Um, where is it? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> if you were to move uh, towards the edge of the peninsula, and move east. It's kind of like in the middle of that area, on your way east. All right, so you still on the northern coast, but further east from here. It's sort of like in the middle of the peninsula, kind of. Or so if. Yeah, the shaft would like this, and we're here up by the root of the stem. You go probably about halfway down. <laughs> to where a freckle or two phallic? may or may not be. <laughs> it's not very phallic. <laughs> but they're just like, mm, sure. <laughs> so I was like, I have a crude map that I could give to you. Oh, that sounds <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> That's what we need more of, crude <laughs> maps. <laughs> <laughs> it's crude. old. It's from before we oh, settled this area. Disgusting. What? The map is old. It's the only maps that actually show the location of the library are so old that the uh, intelligent races hadn't really settled this area yet. Well, then who has all the books there if they're not intelligent? Did I say they were books? You said it was a library. It's a repository of knowledge. Oh, disgusting. I had to take medicine like that sometimes. I live looks disgusted. He's like, oh. Wait, so, so did, they were smuggled in the books. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> also, how do, how does anyone know if they're there? If you don't got, I just I don't understand what a library is if you don't got intelligent people there. And how does anybody know it? Who drew the map? You're full of mysteries. It's like, I, don't <laughs> I thought I had a weird answers. night, but you're making things weirder than when He's I was like, asleep. I only have some of the answers, but uh, the name that you spoke, that we shall not speak again, they had something to do with the library being there, not us. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's... Mm. All of them? No, there is one that is a caretaker of knowledge. Mm, I don't think I know that one. <laughs> well, maybe that's better for you. Probably. He's a horrible, horrible entity to brush up against. His plans and oh, machinations. I bet. I bet they're all fucking slimy. <laughs> His plans and machinations are far reaching. I'm gonna move over there. He said since to he's be, been making a scene. He said to be one of the most dangerous of their kind, although not the most powerful. Yeah, it, if the most powerful doesn't really matter much. If I, if my infinitesimal knowledge has anything to do with it, any one of them is more than enough trouble to be off our charts for who's the most dangerous or most powerful. I wait for a natural pause in the conversation because I don't just want to like barge in. Oh, great! Okay. Look, it's 
my old friend. Temurzum. What can we do for you, sir? I was actually coming to talk to you, my my good friend Saul. Mm. Ah, yes, your good friend Saul. The answers you seek, uh, I was just telling your friend Temujin. Are Did the... you know I always come in over here already? No. Uh, yeah, I saw you. You were walking. We were having a discussion about the issues that you wish to solve with your kingdom and the prince involved, and that the answers you seek probably yeah, lie lots of interesting theories in about the library. You. You're buying a swamp. You're gonna have to stick them up your ass. Is a stone? No, but here on this side of the mountains. This side of the mountains is a far expansive countryside. It's nothing compared to the desert you hail from. But yes, we have a an old map that might help show you the way. Did you find any answers here? No, I only know that there's a repository of knowledge about disease and sickness and it's nearby there at Loch Morath. Loch Morath. About how far is this city? It's not a city, I'm sorry. It's a library. A library is not in a city? A library is the closest translation we have. I think what it is is Loch it's a means place lake. where people put knowledge. I appreciate everything you do. I had actually come over here for a different reason. Do you think we could sail over? Uh, maybe. I was going to ask you if... Is Ilif over here? Or is he yeah, Ilif is hanging out with us all. If you had had a chance to speak with Ilif, we had asked him to join us. To He did tell me about that. Sadly... Oh, that'd be show. great! He's perfect for libraries and stuff. Sadly, we probably need him here. Did he... Tell you of his great accomplishments. He came back alive. It's the way he saved everyone. Well, uh, I think that you need to know how much so of like, an amazing asset he was to us. All right, you guys regale him with some of Isla's tales. <laughs> tales of Isla's bravery and daring. Do do you talk him up or just <laughs> oh, tell yeah. the truth? Yeah, it oh, was okay. amazing. Only six kids died on his watch. I'll make a persuasion <laughs> check. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, if there is anything that. You need help with, or anything that I don't know if the terms a promotion. We are. We're connecting <laughs> Ilif to the local constabulary to be our liaison, and we're attempting to keep the city safe from other such infections by teaming the clergy and the local constabulary together. Maybe he should be. <laughs> That's in amazing. I fell asleep that. during your your sentence. <laughs> I'm gonna try to talk him up to get him the best promotion I can. Okay. okay. Mm. It's not that bad. Mm-hmm. Thirteen. That's okay. So they're okay. like, yeah, I looks totally cool. Some of it might seem a little far fetched when I'm right. describing what he did for us, and I mm. don't mention dead children. Can I go see the children? Oh, not currently. They're undergoing uh, an evaluation to see if we can purge them of their infection. There is one more thing. and These are the things I actually came to talk to you about. See, children, we, I promised them that there would be a place somewhere that would take care of them. Yeah, we will keep them here. They were from the streets. They do not have a family. They can pursue studies with us, or we can help them until they grow old enough to leave on their own. This library, how far away would you say it is? How long a journey? Mm, maybe a week, depending on how long it takes you to get there. I thought you said close. This is a week? Well, at some point you're going to end up moving much more slowly when you get is to the Is this a by, week so. by foot or a week by boat? A week by horse. Do you take a horse on a boat? No, I mean, if you could find a path by boat, some of the waterways have shifted since the map that I have has been created. But if you could find a way there by boat, then it would probably be faster. Do you have any camels instead of a horse? I'm sorry, no. I have not ridden a horse. What the hell is a camel? It is a horse with a big hump on his back. I goes, oh, I know this one. It's a dromedary. 
a creature that's usually associated with no, travel in the uh, desert. Drama, what? This is not a drama, drama what? No, this is a camo. It's... Right, dromedary. No. Ah, oh, yeah. One of them. No. No? Them ones that don't, well, don't need it? a whole lot of water, right? Yes. This is a creature, yes. That. Yeah, a dromedary. No. Ilith looks at you and he goes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, no, he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. No. I'm like, yeah, yes. Right, here you can milk them. You get all sorts of drama so, from their dairy. You do not know what you're talking about. Maybe the Look, you, can be milk. you thought it was called a camel. A camel. Camel. Either way. It's not one of them either. So, I think we need to get uh, our frustrated tall buddy ready to go. It's time for us to start heading east. Should we not rest for the day? You want to leave today? I mean, we, you can you can rest on a boat. Do you have or, a boat? No! These guys said they could swing it. Uh, we can... Yeah, see? So you it's the least he can do. These guys are passage. Grateful. Or maybe a, what did you call that again? The creature? A horse. The horse? We could get you horses. How about, can, uh, you... can they pull a wagon? We might be able to get you passage on a boat, but I can't, I don't think that'll be going all the way to the swamp. Mm-hmm. On this map. Where is this map? Oh, it's my study upstairs. Can we see it? Yeah, I'll bring can it down we, can tonight. Can keep it? No. Well, I can make you a copy. Yeah. Do you have any way we can contact you once we leave? Maybe. There's a possibility. I'd have to find some stones. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Are you a skirt? Pardon me? No. It's a magic item that used for communication over long distances. Oh. Hmm. Sending zones. Oh. We call them next tense. Right, no. so. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> this is not true. <laughs> so, uh. You're just speaking. Yeah, I can get some sending stones for you guys. Possibly I'd have to get my hands on some if you trade a few favors. Um, this, this would be amazing. Sure. My last question before I leave you for the day is, do you know if the city is safe? Well, I don't know if it's safe, and that's why we're joining together with the local peacekeeping force to try to make sure that, uh, you know, the town's protected from other sorts of infections or infections of this nature. Do you have a quarantine up for them kids? They have been, uh, yeah, placed someplace where they're safe, and we can keep an eye on them. While we work on curing their affliction. And those in contact with them. No one in and out. That's not a priest joke. <laughs> you gotta keep keep the people that are working on the kids. You can't you can't let them We can cure ourselves as long as the infection is fresh. So that's not a problem. What do you think about them? You think you're you're feigning some sort of optimism? I'm not sure yet. I think we might be able to stop the infection where it is, but I don't know if we can reverse it. Hmm. Right. Did what I could, I suppose. Um... Where, where did uh, Ilith go? Aren't we gonna go get lunch? I mean, the meal's being put together right now. They put it together. They're putting it. It was not together. put together. I had eaten half of it already. No, I'm saying it's mm-hmm. they're putting the tables together. The food's coming out. You could eat now. Everybody hasn't sat down yet, but I need it. A booster. <laughs> A tall chair. They give you a bar stool instead of a chair. That's fantastic. All right. <sighs> Where's Tama? Is he sleeping? He was very tired. Maybe. You think he'd wake up if we went up into his room and 
Bugged him a bit. Probably. If he was around, you would already know. He does not know quiet. I think we can get his hammer away from him. Is the what? His uh, hammer? That too. He worships that thing. I know, we gotta keep it safe. Safe it's, from... I mean, well, he's sleeping. You never know what could happen to it. I have so, one more rage left, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we gotta keep Four it. levels of exhaustion later. Make sure that it stays out of harm's way. It's our duty as friends. Is this a joke that you do to Tamat? I do not know him well enough. He might punch me. No. That's, he will definitely punch you. That's not how he works. <laughs> that but is completely how he, he works. He seems that way, but <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing we've always done. We've. I feel expect. like half of the, what you say today has not been actuality. That's a pretty big word for you. It's about two syllables. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I feel like it should be easier to convince you to do this. <laughs> My wisdom is not so bad. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, never mind. Uh, I'm just going to eat for a bit. This is a good plan. Uh, but I, you know, all these... Most, I will go wake up to Mutt. Most for of this lunch. food is the same stuff that the uh, the old Slatty had in his barrels. Oh, she was they have some food? Yeah, she was a surprisingly uh, decent hostess. She had all sorts of good food for us bread, and sausage, a and. Decent hostess that wanted to kill you. Uh, I don't think she did. That was she just like a side effect. She wanted of, her babies. She wanted her babies to hatch. Yeah, she wanted the babies, that's for sure. Yeah, that would but, kill you. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think that... I think she would have been fine if we lived through it. It's, it wasn't really her intention. If you ever need to talk about what happened, I am a good shoulder to lean on. Did you just mix your metaphors? I appreciate it. I need to talk. Usually, if you say that uh, you open up an, uh, an invitation for someone to talk, you say you're a, an ear, not a shoulder. This is a, a shoulder. metaphor from your country. Yeah, yeah, the ears we use in our country to listen with that. Uh, you're not pulling my hair? No. I, I believe the water or the eyes water on the shoulder. <laughs> Well, now that that's overtly <laughs> sexual where I come from. Wow, <laughs> we're D&D breakfast club. We're five guys in a room with no pants on. We like to play D&D. That's actually oh. the Spanish metaphor for pulling my leg. Wow, <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> not pulling my hair. Oh pulling my, my hair. I'm really just trying to <laughs> stall for time while you read through the book. <laughs> yeah, okay. So each of you guys can roll a d100 if you want to. <gasps> yeah? I accept. Not that it matters. D100. Can it? someone roll this shit down? Or write this shit down. Anonymous, anonymous says biscuits and gravy is the best breakfast. And I think I agree. Ooh. Damaging got a 75. 48. And Should we just keep our number? Yeah. 62. So I got Horn, of, Horn of Valhalla. What do you guys 48. think? Best breakfast. Staff of Thunder and Lightning. Me? No. Ooh. 72? Did I hear 72? 75. Uh, 75. Oh, you got 36, 75, 48, oh, like, and 62. Wait, 36 is a scimitar of speed. So wait, so I've got 36, the 48, the 75, and what else is left? 62. 62. Uh, candle of Invocation. I wonder what that is. That's what I rolled? 62? Yeah. Fuck that. So which one did I get? I mean, you don't get these yet, right? Well, 75. What was 75? That was the horn. Uh, 48 was the horn of Valhalla. I, I don't think that we're getting these individually. 
It's not like he's handing you a staff. I'm going to keep whichever but one I'm giving. Which 75? You said 72 was the staff, but it wasn't a 72, it was a 75. So start from the top. So what was 75? Horn of Valhalla. Oh, that was the Horn of Valhalla. Okay, so what's, so what's 48, 48 then? Uh, 48 is the Staff of Lightning or something like that in Thunder. Uh, I thought 72 was the Staff of Lightning. Okay, let me go back and look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah start please. from the top. Jesus, what are you, guys. What are you trying to do here, You're just Josh. reading things. Okay, the, the Staff of Lightning and Thunder uh, Thunder and Lightning is a 48. Okay, Staff of Lightning and Thunder? Uh, yeah, Thunder and Lightning, actually. Lightning and Thunder. Thunder and Lightning, actually. I'll take that word. Jesus. <laughs> Th- 75, Horn of Valhalla. Thunder and Lightning. Yeah. 75, Horn of Valhalla. Yeah, I want that. I'm using it to drink chocolate milk from. Okay. <laughs> and someone got chocolate the milk and orange juice. Candle of invocation. Oh, so yep. we we got those? No, not yet. No. What do you mean not yet? Why are you spoiling this for us? He's. I don't know. We're. What are we doing right now, uh, Josh? <laughs> I'm eating two sausages. <laughs> yeah, me too. Just like this. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> One more time? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you wearing pants? What in the world? No, none of us are wearing pants right now. Josh, <laughs> what are you doing to us right now, man? <laughs> Can I have some coffee? <laughs> Let me get a refill first, and then I'm going to give it. I need some I'm trying to think who would use this. Matt is too incorrigible. <laughs> Everyone else knows not to indulge my shit, but he just goes with it. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, we're way off the rails. The time for the bio break yet? Fuck no. No, right. no, no, not yet. I forgot dude. what we were even doing. Oh, we were rolling dice. Eating right. sausage. You guys are having some food and hanging out with the clerics. Jo- Josh just had us roll the dice for fun. Things we don't. Are you guys gonna? Are you guys gonna spend the next three days waiting for him to recover? Yes. Only if I can talk to oh, him yes. occasionally. Oh God. Can, can you just lie? fast forward that part? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, we'll just wait. We'll, do, we'll be here three days. Nobody <laughs> wants to know why. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to the kids. The little boy and girl are all fucked up. When she sees you, she just starts to weep hysterically. The little boy oh, won't look you in the PTSD. eyes. PTSD. You've done it now. Well, right. They watched you kill their friends. They did not. I was around the corner. Dude. And there yeah. was blackness. And they didn't see it. horribleness. Yeah, because they were going to run too. They did see it. All the kids started running towards the exit. And then he was like, What's what's blah, 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 blah. And the, the scene between realities tour. I was, I was in the I was in the crowd scene. of people. They they were behind the, around the corner. No, they didn't see any of it. Yeah, no, they know what's going on. They know. Well, you have on. to at least do something. Do it. Yeah, but I was in the crowd of people. I'm short, behind a robot and a giant painted hmm. man. I probably saw you between their legs. <laughs> Fair. <What the> fuck? <laughs> Fair. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> they know it was you. Yeah. All right. Three days. <laughs> Three days <laughs> pass. What are you okay. doing in between my legs? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I got the horn of Valhalla. <laughs> Oh and in front of the children. <laughs> this is the most <laughs> fucked up thing I have ever story told. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 7 a.m. is such a bad idea. <laughs> We're breaking oh everything right now. <laughs> you guys have to die. Why? Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> start off over. to the luck. I'm going to wipe the game and start again. No one needs to die. Okay. I want to know how this Alex is so thing. stoic over there. <laughs> He's <laughs> looking up the horn in Valhalla. Yeah, I'm reading the <laughs> items. That's how I'm stoic. Just tunes you motherfuckers out. <laughs> well, that's what you should do. <laughs> <laughs> just oh. give us like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be like... La, 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 la. Okay, uh, are you done? Yeah. He's got the book back out. Oh, so the uh, Candle of Invocation is great for a druid. Yeah, it's cool. Or a cleric. Yep. If we had a druid or a cleric, we would be set right now. <laughs> All right, well, go ahead and die. That'll work for Brian. Oh, okay. I'm still sort of druidy. You count. Um, I'm going to tinker, oh, try shit. to fine-tune um, my octopus a little bit. Okay. I just want to see if I can make its um, arms a little more mobile. I really don't think we should give this candle to Brian. Just 
throwing that out there. <laughs> well, you're the one with the candle, right? You can give it to whoever you want. Where, where did these things go or come from? <laughs> what are not, they doing? I don't know. I'm tinkering on an octopus right now. So d- who had the plate armor that we got? You did. Was I carrying it? It was um, in the bag of holding. If it was in the bag of holding, he took it out to make the cape, so you're probably Death carrying slide. it? Death It's 40 pounds. It's not the heaviest. Yeah. It'd probably be in one of our bags. You could probably carry it in a big canvas sack. I think we had a few big canvas sacks from that town that burned down. Hmm. It didn't all burn. The first town we were in. Did Frost. we lose the plate armor? Is that what you're trying to tell well, me? You have the plate armor. Okay, fair enough. You there probably is, just carry it. So I go, I take the plate armor and I go to Temujin and I throw it down on the ground. <clears throat> what day is this? Is this still the, the slow day? Are what? We, is this day two? Uh, this, ergonomically speaking, you don't want to throw it on the ground and then pick it all the way back up. You just put it on the table and right. you don't have to do the straining. Good. Temujin. All right. Why? What? Orn was trying to make me wear this stuff because it said he could it would help me out. Uh, at first, I did not want to wear this because I thought it was cheating. It's stuff that we're facing. You're willing to cheat for? No. Oh, I got my ass kicked yesterday. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, go on. We all... Safed and the battle. This is half a plate armor. Mm. It just needs a little adjustments. Yes, what he said. Maybe we can take it to a blacksmith. Demogen can do it. Mm. What, are you, what are you looking to have done? Make it fit me. This is a tall task. Uh, he yeah, is very I, tall. I, 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 I probably could do that. It wouldn't be very efficient. I tend to enhance uh, smaller things. Mm. Like I could definitely work on some of the hinges between the plates, make these flow a little better, because this looks like a goddamn child put it together. But uh, as far as you know, using the breastplate stretcher, I, I don't know how to do that. Mm. To make it mit- fit a man of your size, this was obviously on. Some I can use smith tools. Would you like me to try to fit it to you? Robot, yes. <laughs> My exactly. name is, I'm proficient in smith tools. He's, he's a half-assed smith if you you want to do it that way. We could actually meet. I mean, we're in a city that's grateful for our services. You could go meet somebody who knows what they're doing. Are we famous now? No, we're not famous. We are making a name for ourselves with the clergy. Yeah, no, is, is there a, uh, a smith around that I can use as forge? Would you believe? I would like to speak to. You can probably rent forge time. Okay. Uh, it would likely require gold to rent. If you can pay for the rent for the smithing, I can. Take, uh, I hold my hand out to Temujin. Temujin, remember the gold I gave you. Hi. Uh, yeah. I'm- do you want it all back, or do you want just enough to pay for this mm. rental experience? No, just give me the stuff that I need. All right, we're going to have to find out how much it costs. Okay. For the sake of brevity, do we find out about how much it would cost to rent? Brevity? No, let's go find out and haggle <laughs> with 11 uh, different blacksmiths. Probably <laughs> five golden hours we're looking at. Okay. Uh, do I have an idea of how long it would take me to fit it to him? 25 hours. An hour? Two hours? I mean, probably at least two or three, right? Depends on the way you roll. You could destroy mm. the armor. Ooh, Who knows? <laughs> enticing. Uh, let's see. So the price. Robot man better not break. It. Five e half plate. I bet we made a name with our. Was it half plate? Name for was ourselves. It full, I thought it was full plate. City. Was it full plate or half plate? I mean, yeah, the homeless kids. They're probably terrified of me. <laughs> yeah, right. You killed the shit <laughs> out of plate. You can't wear a full plate. You can only wear medium armor, right? Yeah. Half plate's really good, though, because it doesn't give you disadvantage on stealth. So, 
Okay, yeah, I have played it. 750 gold, so yeah, it would be definitely worth me. I thought it didn't give you disadvantage. The one below it does. The breastplate? This one gives you disadvantage for stealth rolls. It does. Half plate does? Yep. Yeah, the one below it does. It's about 40 pounds. It costs about 750 gold, but it gives you 15 plus dex mod max 2. So. 17. Or less, depending. What's your your dex? Oh, my dex? Alright, I lied. Damn it. But yeah, if it costs. No, my dex is 0. Oh. Well, then. What's your AC now? 14. So it gives you one better AC. Wouldn't be terrible. I can make it a plus one if I don't make anything else. <laughs> or if I use the Staff of Lightning, then I don't need my returning javelin. That'd be melee only. But What's Staff of Lightning? No Staff of Lightning. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I don't know about that. Yet. I suppose I don't <laughs> technically know about it anyway. I don't know what to do. Give us those items what? now, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my horn of Valhalla. <laughs> That's great. So I just like make him roll Breast the magic plate items and then you don't ever give them to him. That's fucking fine. That'd be great. Mm. Anyway, uh, I could I could enhance the armor if you're wishing for that. <clears throat> and see how well I can do. I do not wish. I demand for it. Yes. Let's get this done. Okay. I believe... We... Let us... Get 20... Do you have 25 gold? 25 gold, Timmy. 25 gold? That's way more than you gave me. Uh, if there's any left... I'll get more. We'll, uh... He gave me 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe we will have game. extra left over. However, I wished to uh, ensure that uh, we so do not need not something more. something you pay for at the end? No, I believe you rent it. For a certain oh, number of hours, right? Horrible staff. Ask them if you can pay at the end. They can total your hours. Okay. Uh, I try to find a blacksmith. <laughs> See if he's willing to let me pay afterwards, depending on how long it takes. Oh, how much, no, how much gold do you have? Up front. I have no money. I give all my money to you. Is there a refund are, if we do not What in the hell is that? We, we always give you our money. You well, that oh, was before no. the world started gonna, ending. We lost all that shit. You're going to make a of an hour, and then you're going to have to pay the rest afterwards. Okay. This is fair. Great. I will hand over five gold. How much do you have? We start with the deposit. I can do see, one see. hour, but if I do not... Uh, Does that seem realistic? I mean, we, I can to try modify, it. To modify what he's got, to make it look like... It doesn't look like it's going to be all that great. I mean, it's it's basically a combat bra for a lady. No, it's not. Yes. It's yeah, not You a don't want to wear that. It's embarrassing. Don't, don't make it look like a it bra. Looks, it looks awful. Don't make it look like a bra. Just, make <laughs> it look like... Look, we're here for emotional support, not for breastular support. Oh. Oh. You don't this want... This is it. not a word. Support? Yes, Robot. of course it is. Don't make it look like a bra. Make it look manly. It looks like a bra. Make it look tough. Maybe yeah, make it look manly. Make it look like a peninsula. The yeah. <laughs> there are too many people talking. I cannot listen to everyone at Paint all. some flames on the pets. <laughs> uh, manly. Hot tits. <laughs> yes, yes, flames. <laughs> Paint flames on their fires, <laughs> badass. No, tits. <laughs> I... So are you going to go ahead and paint. try to fix the armor? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, roll I'm going to paint flames three times. on it. <laughs> three times? I'm going to paint three nipples times. on it. <laughs> Can we paint the pecs uh, in too? Or not the pecs, the abs? That is a, uh, would it be strength based? Yeah. Okay. So the first one is a 25. <laughs> okay. The second one is a 24. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Last one is a botch. Yes. No. <laughs> it's got three breasts. Destroy the armor. What? <laughs> oh, son of a It bitch. looks so good, and then it's, yeah, two yeah. pieces. I was just working on the flames on the right peck. Too bad. Smack. Sorry, man. I told, oh. no, that's all you had to do is not botch. See? Yeah. Now you got to. I s- figured as much. Now you got it in two pieces. And it was a confirmed botch? Uh, I rolled a one and a six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So you got you get it. Look. If you it wasn't use... three rolls, I would have been fine. If it was two rolls, <laughs> it would have been awesome. You can you yes. use this? Yeah. Can you, you can still use this. What the hell do I do you with this to... now? Now it's oh. a. Oh. You could use it for Damn a god piece. 
So, can I sell it to the smith for scrap? <laughs> I mean, he'll take it for your time. Right, he'll be this like... This is not a fair trade. This yeah, it was a 750 gold worth there. of materials. Mm. Well, when Once it was, it was finished. armor. Yeah. <laughs> 750 right. now gold it's not to armor. create. Yeah. yeah. This now is it's not maybe something that you can repair with the clergy. Maybe they what? can do some magic. Ting, ting, ting. You don't know anything about that. I don't know magic. Do you cast magic spells? I've seen magic. Yeah, so you know magic does weird shit. You don't know about mending. This is <laughs> rewind. Do not listen. <laughs> we did have the ability to fix I things. I did not say that. In the beginning of the campaign. So I guess with an intelligence of 16, my Church. character might think of it. Is this something that he can mend? I mean, I can give it a shot. That's for sure. It's, uh... But I, I'm going to take... Take both pieces, I'm going to put a cloak over my head and have it underneath, and I'm going to make crazy noises with my mouth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's how we started the game off. All right. <laughs> Temujin's Mending Shop. It's true. Temujin's Magical Emporium is what it was called. By the way, chats labeled you as hot tits from now on. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. So yeah, hot tits. Yes. Uh-huh. Now we need this armor. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm doing my best. You can mend it. You're going to have to do three more rolls to get it to fit in after. Okay. You can put it together, but it's not right. Okay, <laughs> so three more rolls. Yep. I'm just going to change your name okay, we on got overlay a overlay to Hot Tits. That's fucking 16, awesome. 16. <laughs> It'll a, be uh, Tomat Hot Tits, whatever your last name and is. And, oh, dude, Beer Age. A 22. Okay, so yeah, you get it worked out. Okay. Sweet. Wait, we did it? Yeah, we fixed it. Yeah, now you got he the did draw. mending. Good job. And I'm then glad I didn't suggest forged. that. We forged it. Oh, okay. I put it on. <laughs> right, it's still hot. Don't do I it yet. Paint the <laughs> oh, God, it's so hot. You want to paint flames on it? Do hot you, tits. Can you paint it all? No. Sweet. Roll me a d20. Now your intelligence modifier. <laughs> it looks like he's got a modifier. Look at all those bleeding nipples. Oh, oh shit. I'll do it again. Okay. I don't know what it is. You're horrible at rolling, man. 11. Sweet. Bloody nipples. <laughs> yeah, there's just like <laughs> weird red waves on the breast. <laughs> These are flames. <laughs> does it look badass? Yes. It <laughs> does look like a badass. I roll my deception. <laughs> okay. 18. <laughs> it totally looks badass. <laughs> uh, oh, I welcome all competitors to come and face me now. Maybe, <laughs> maybe don't say "come and face" in the same sentence anymore. <laughs> We're D&D Breakfast Club. We're five guys in the room, very small room with no pants on. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst time. Something horrible has happened. Like it gets worse every week. There is a week. reason why our world is spiraling into the abyss. Right. <laughs> like, just slap your world one extra time every time you guys fuck around. <laughs> My eyes haven't stopped leaking this whole game. <laughs> Just like his bleeding nipples. Oh, God. <laughs> These are flames. Not tits. Uh, Not as, soon, tits. <laughs> as soon as the night passes, I'm definitely making that armor a plus one yeah, pass hot the tits night. armor. The night passes. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, my God. He has magical hot tits armor. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Okay. He should probably make his weapon plus one. The next day you guys are having breakfast or whatever, hanging out in the library. And Ilith walks over. I can. And he says, uh, so, good news, bad news, guys. All right. Good news is you want to come to the library. No. Sorry, I don't. Good news is you have decided that Ilith will come with us. You're talking to Ilith. Yeah. Ilith is not walked Is over. that you are coming with us? No, That's I'm not going with said. you. I'm he said no. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I can't. Your accent is off. <laughs> the city needs me because we found a bunch of stuff down in the den uh, of the slot. We think there might have been more victims. So I'm going to stay here and help the, the local peacekeepers and uh, and the rest of the clergy hunt these, uh, hunt down the, any infected that are in town. But that's the bad news. Good news. Uh, we found some magic items that might be able to help you on your travels. Oh, 
<clears throat> Are they going to be of any use to you here? I mean, would we, we could keep them and here? use them, but... Do you want us to hunt down any of these leftovers? I think it'll be okay. Maybe it won't. Maybe you guys should stay. I don't know. But I, you know, I think if we get together the peacekeepers and the rest of the clerics in town and we contact the Wizards Guild, we should be all right. The peacekeepers? The wizards. Hey, what about the... You said something about uh, items in the form of payment. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. All right. Let, before we get too far, let's let's discuss. This was my first request from the beginning. Well, you don't need to be a dick about it. Saying Where's our stuff? the facts <laughs> as being a dick. So he gives you the stuff that you randomly rolled. It's well, a silver horn. Oh, fuck. Let me have this. I'm pretty sure I want that's the horn. mine. No, I want the horn. I, he, he was trying to hand it to me. No. Just because you, you can't just reach in and grab a horn. Yes, this is my horn. All right. You know... I was like, I don't care who takes the horn. I, I, I was mean, just trying to help you guys I out. Do, Can you tell us what, the, what, what these things out? are? I mean, you got a cup, you got a stick. I just know they're magical. You got a uh, candle. You do not know what they do. You got to spend some time with them to figure it out. That's what the way magic items work. Yeah. Huh? What else is there? Well, the stick's too big for me. How about the candle? What else is there? Uh, scimitar of Speed, Horn of Valhalla. So the Horn of Scimitar. Light. Uh, uh, candle of Scimitar. And a candle. Yep. So, well, yeah. Come on, Simitar, you leave me with a candle horn, just because uh, I'm short? <laughs> what the fuck? gives this stuff? He's like, I could identify it for you if you give me some time, but uh, I just figured, hey, thanks for all the help, and here you go. All right. Uh, By the way, I'm only at two levels of exhaustion right now. That's a spirit. <laughs> yes, feeling much better with my oh, horn. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, what does it do? Uh, plus two bonus attack and damage rolls made with this weapon. In addition, you can make one attack with it as a bonus action each of your turns. Oh, damn. So it's like what I have, but better. Hmm? What's their roll? D6. Is this some turns? Some turns is D6. So D6, D6, D6. It's a toss up. It's a plus it's two weapon. Do three it. Three to eight versus two to eight. It's got a better plus to hit. Equipment, manage really, equipment. Plus positive. two to hit is awesome. Because mine is two to four, but I re-roll ones and twos. Oh, that's true. It's the plus to hit that would make it better. Yeah. Is it an actual item? It's an actual item. Some entire speed. I'm going to go at it. This is mine. <laughs> uh... I think after we take some time with it, we'll probably end up with me having the staff, if everyone's okay with that. You having the candle and you having the horn. And you Why are you giving time. him the, the candle when you said this is the thing he uh, shouldn't have? So I know it's the best for him because Josh said that it would work for him. He said I could him. use it. So he has basically infinite number of love first level spells. <gasps> well, what? Uh, while it's burning, you can... Cast spells as a first level spell without taking so, up a slot. That's amazing. Da, 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 da. Wait a second. That sounds like horseshit. Let's see. Did you just give me a legendary item? Yeah, I did. It shares that deity's oh, very the, rare. the issue with it is if you look at the very end, when you first light the candle, you can instead destroy the candle and cast gate with the spell, which oh, is or with the candle, that's which fancy. is a ninth level spell. <laughs> Except, hey, can you yeah. roll with you twenty? <laughs> Are you ending the campaign? <laughs> is that the game? Oh, yeah, no. he needs to know if his alignment matches. No, I just need to know what the alignment is. <laughs> There's no no thing about if it matches. Well, it has to be a deity with that alignment. Yeah, the, well. Just realign yourself the candles immediately. Ali- that, yeah. <laughs> I am chaotic evil. What are you talking about? I yeah. just killed some kids. I obviously am. <laughs> obviously. I was trying to save them. It's lawful good. Yep. I'm all over the board. <laughs> Nature. I, I start at the middle and I can bend any any which way. Yeah. While it's lit, any creature within that light whose alignment matches the candle makes attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks with advantage. In addition, a cleric or druid whose light uh, whose alignment matches whose the candles. alignment matches the candle can cast first level spells as he or she has prepared without expending a first level slot. Though this uh, spell effects spells effect is. As if cast with the first level slot. Which is, yeah. which is 
interesting because as a warlocky druid thing, everything is higher level, so then it will be reduced. But yeah. you can cast them as long regularly. as regularly. Yeah. yeah, which is four hours that you can burn it. Uh, if you light it, it lasts for a minute, or it, it removes a minute from it. So technically speaking, 60 times 4, 6, 12, 18, 20, uh, you have 240 minutes that you can have it lit. Okay. It's going to let you cast f- four spells Okay. at first level, because as a warlock, you can just cast forever, right? Any of your spells, and that's broken. That is problematic. So four. So four. You'll be able to, every time that you light it, you'll be able to cast four spells. Four with it. Does it ever run out? Yeah. Yeah. After Every time. A long it's time. Two hundred and forty hours worth. Normally yeah. it would be ten rounds. So he's Do you have getting... to walk around holding it on a little like Probably. tray, mm-hmm. or you can hold it in a little candlestick. Mm. Stick it on my shoulder. Ooh, you could tinker something in your uh, well, in your armor like a loop. I'm gonna like a candle. I'm gonna loop. put it on top of my octopus globe I'm... so that it melts and. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there it. you go. I'm mostly worried about him pulling something through the gate if he I lights can't it do for the that. first time. Alternatively, when you light the candle for the first time, yep. you can cast gate. So in theory, I could cast gate right now. Unless it's yep. already been lit. Or is it when you light it? No, it hasn't been lit. It's probably, uh, it says uh, when you light the candle. I'll give you that option to end just Josh is like, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. yeah. You can cast gate with it if you want. Can I you. buy a shield? <laughs> can you buy a shield? Yeah. You remember the water elemental? That's like this on True. drugs. <laughs> I need one now. Okay. My awesome. feet goes to waste, um, but... Yeah. <laughs> I want to meet Oz in person. I'll well, go with him to buy his shield. I want all of you to meet him. If you cast gate, something will come through. Mm-hmm. That's probably the gate. And in fact, I'm going to change the rules a little bit of the candle invocation. The alignment of the candle is going to be lawful good. Okay. So what that means is that uh, Oz will give you a hack around. But every time you cast a spell with the candle, you're going to take a d6 of damage. <laughs> and you can cast as many as you want. Welcome so you, to face step damage so, in me. It's the wait, same so thing. I can, <laughs> so it's back to unlimited, but I take a d6 damage every time. So, you do. Yeah, you could do technically every round would be Whoa. six seconds. So you're you blood could do blocked 10 now. Good job. Per minute. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second. I'm going to have to write these down. We're going back to the blacksmith. Me and Tamar. I don't know why I'm bringing him, but he wanted to go with me. Oh, you're going to buy a shield. Buy a How shield. much does a shield cost? Yeah, sure. You buy a shield. Oh, I was... hope I have money for it, actually. <laughs> it's a good call. I was... have 15 gold. Can you look up how much scale mail is worth? Yeah. Actually, I'll just ask with this guy. <clears throat> I don't know. I got 10 sure. gold. 10 gold? There you go. 10 gold is all that scale mail is worth? Shield. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to sell this to you. Uh, I can find the cost here. Uh, 50 gold. Scales were 50, so I'll give you 25 for it. No. How how much is this worth? This is a good deal. It's a good deal? This is this? If you say so. All right, so I just take the 25. I won't make a big fuss about it. Okay. You have more gold than me? That's true. Was everyone okay with me taking the uh, Staff of Thunder and Lightning? I didn't look twice when I grabbed the scimitar, so... <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, whooping! Mine. Done. Are you okay with the candle, I'm assuming? You know, when you can really uh, use it. Oh, so. I suppose so. This... You got a this fucking got candle. Promising. Okay. I'll take this. I just look at it like... Pfft. Yeah. Well, Wait, what did this guy get? You got the horn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oz will instruct you on how to use it and let you know that he's given you a workaround for the candle. He's making it it's possible. Not the right yeah, he's going to make it happen. He's like, yeah, you know, you're not really a druid anymore and you're not really a lawful good. Lawful good. <laughs> but we can figure this out. We can make that happen. Yeah. Can you just make it an iron horn above hollow? It's silver. <laughs> Why? Why iron? You want it to be better? It's- Kind of cooler. <laughs> I mean, yeah. As you get, it's the weakest Horn of Valhalla because right now, if you were to summon two D four plus two barbarians or berserkers or whatever you summon with them, it would it makes you guys amazing. Yeah, the yeah, items amazing. make you hit punch at a much more beefy level than you already do. Like you guys can really fuck the game up at this tier with those items. Get 
Although, <laughs> I, I want to see that. if I can have someone attach that blade onto the other blade. The scimitar? No. What? The scimitar is what it is. It's magical. It's a finished product. It doesn't okay. get better than that. You can't put a blade on top it's of It's amazing. Blade. It has a name, right? Oh, like What's its name? I don't know. Walter. <laughs> you just said it has a name. It does have a name. Let me. Well, hear. I want to know its name. Does it talk to me? Okay. Does it have it engraved in the blade? It has it engraved in the blade. In what language? Elven. Ooh, that's me. Ooh, look at that. She says, I am a stuck-up prick. You are, I know. That's what your your new sword says. I know, I speak English. What? It reminds you don't apparently speak common, though. Clatheral. Clatheral. C-L-A-T-H-A-R-A-L. Clatheral. Does it have a meaning? You don't know right now. Well, I know Elvin. You do know Elvin, but it's an older script of Elvin that you're familiar with. It's like if someone used a word in Old English that we didn't really know super well. I'm going to go into the library and look it up. Okay. <laughs> That's what you spend your last day doing. Go ask, go ask <laughs> Mr. Uh, no, I actually spent my last I day fly. trying to see if anyone can uh, help me modify it to a double-bladed scimitar. No, no one can. All right. That's what I do. You wasted your day. I also wasted a feet and a fighter uh, <laughs> stance. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I used to be a druid. I know how that feels. <laughs> I need to talk to Oz then, huh? I, I, Did you need a so hex blade it, it warlock? Means celerity. <laughs> celerity? Mm -hmm. Speed, yeah. obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is not a word. <clears throat> All right. How do you spell celerity? Is it with a C? Mm-hmm. Celerity. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Like celery. Kind of. Kind of. This okay. is a vegetable. So day three, you guys are there. Um, mm. I put, uh, in the day, down days, I put stuff into the ring of spell storing. What do you put in? Uh, two lesser restorations and uh, cure wounds. Our new healer, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, as the third day is there, you know, whatever Saul comes and finds you guys, and he asks you if you want passage on a ship that will get you part of the way there, or if you want horses in a wagon. What do you say? How do you feel about the open sea? This is. Familiar to me, as these horses. Mm -mm. Ships are not familiar to you. I've sailed before. You've been in the desert. You're in the desert. You don't even I sailed sail. around to get here. Oh, did you? Yeah, I You're sailed to Gear Calf, and then I moved up to the mountains. That was okay. the quickest way. Horribly seasick. This is still better than horses. Okay. So you're going to vote for the boat? I vote we go on the boat. You vote for the boat? Whatever. Nice flames. You mm. do look great. I just like flames, right? Ah. Uh, yep. Totally. <laughs> yeah, they. Well, the paint will be gone after the first battle. Right. Sure it will. We can preserve it somehow. Make it happen. I just redraw it after the battle. How much are we carrying? Do we need a bag of holding, by the way? Well, not if we're on a boat. You can be our pack mule. I'm going to sell my scimitar. Are you really? <laughs> not the speed one. Oh, the other one? It's no use to me anymore. Until I, mean, I find get, one that's better. You can get half what it's worth, basically. Okay. Uh, what would you like? Uh, Cloak of the Manta, plus one weapon, or plus one armor? Plus one... Always weapon. Weapon. Okay, you can pick two. Which would you like? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Armor and <laughs> weapon. Okay, so plus, <laughs> you have plus one armor and plus one weapon. Uh, yes, please. Who wants Who wants the cloak of the manta anyway? Swim speed on a boat? Wait, 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 wait. I was going to say, like, it's your choice, but... I'm an intelligence of nine. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, the armor's awesome. <laughs> 
I'm trying to get the the spirit warriors loaded up on uh, Beyond, and I can't. You know what? What are you trying to do? You always uh. So okay. I'm gonna give him cloak of the manta and a plus one weapon. Okay. He uh, he does reckless all the time <coughs> anyway, so I figure people right. are gonna hit him anyway. Summons berserkers, right? Yeah. Is that what it summons? Berserkers. So two d four plus two warrior spirits. Yeah, warrior spirits. Yeah, that's what the horn does. So go to that equipment. Hit. Go to the main page. You get right. ghosts. Go to extra. Yeah, right. That's what I'm trying to find. Choose a category. Probably summon, and then type it in spirit. No, nope. this is what I've been doing. They're challenge rating two if it's a berserker. You're getting berserkers. So yes. challenge rating two. I mean, they have a shit ton of hit points compared to you guys. I just yeah. don't know <laughs> how to. Sixty-seven hit points. It. Yeah. What's up? We'll figure it out. You don't know how to what? I'm trying to locate it so I can just have it in beyond. Well, did you find the item? Yeah. Uh, usually, if you no, I got yeah, it. On, I got it. no. Oh, I they use it. the statistics of a berserker, mm -hmm. so you need to go you. add a berserker. Great. I also tried that, and okay. I couldn't. You can't add. A... Yeah, you we'll just look it up when you summon it. I added sure. a water elemental. Okay, go ahead and try adding. Advantage enough. extras. Choose a category. It's probably be monsters. Yeah, armor class 13, hit points 7, speed 30 feet. They're reckless, like you. I got the spell right. There's a whole load of them. There it Perfect. is, Berserker. So Under go what? to miscellaneous. Add an extra miscellaneous. I mean, it's pretty... You can yeah, and then totally your... make a linebacker. Damn it. Right? Make a you can make like a defensive line. You like go and then shields. It has all the stats. They have sixty-seven yeah. hit points. They can take it? a serious ass. Did you add it? All right, then. You guys are now far more tough than you were earlier. Good job. Thanks, Silas. Well, mine shows up right here. You're a hero. Yeah, there you go. Now okay. you can pull it up under extra. Best of luck with that city thing. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. I think so too. I'm cautiously optimistic. Oh, there it is. <laughs> No, did your you, eyelids. <laughs> did did Saul find sending stones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll give one of you guys sending stones. We could just put it right inside his head. Who wants the sending stones? What do you say? I believe you ask for them, so you should have. Them. Do they take a tumor? Uh I think they do. And then I don't want them. <laughs> I'm already on two <laughs> slots. <laughs> hey, you think you're going to get another thing? I hope. Are they attunement? Don't know. Sanding stone. What are you guys doing? Why don't we bio break now? That sounds excellent. They're not a tumor. I'll take them. Ooh, okay. Add. We're going to bio break while we're fucking around all the characters. Number, yeah, number, sorry number. guys. Pretty much gonna... I feel like that was a great use of our last 30 minutes. We got <laughs> awesome items. Mm -hmm. You guys got game breaking let's items. Go, yeah, let's go bust stuff. This is going to be now substantially harder to not so when it drive says, this campaign into the ground. So when it says <laughs> I get 2d4 of these spirits... You roll 2d4. So you get oh somewhere between god. 2 and so, 8. Oh god. Well, What'd you, you get? can roll better than that. I don't know. I, I was just... I wasn't rolling for it. I just... Right. Like, is that every time I blow it, or...? Yeah. How often yeah. can Yeah, so it? you would have, like, five doing crazy? Once every seven days. Yeah. Oh, once every seven days. So <laughs> yeah. blow it at a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blow it, okay? That's yeah. <laughs> oh, you went so much uh, can more PG with you that. Can, you can only blow it once a week, <laughs> right? All right, we're uh, on the boat for five days. Three. You said. Oh, yeah, we got more time to pass. All right. Oh, are we passing time? Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna do some fast forwarding. Hey, what does your horn do? We don't have to now that we're on the boat. No, we should. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, but I, I do don't know, know what it does yet. The captain. You didn't name. get any idea from mm -hmm. you know, cuddling with it for the last day or so. Is that what it? Yep. Would I know what it does after I tune into it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it, a, uh, give it a wave. Mm, I, I think I might want to save this. But what? What we got? Like a week. It's on the boat. I'm Nothing. Pre bad I'm pretty sure. Ever happens on a boat. We might as well try it. I'm pretty sure that I now control. The spirits of great warriors. Ew. So, like necromancy. Uh, 
the captain of the boat's a dragonborn. He's a red dragonborn. His name is Red Mark Balasar. He goes by <laughs> Balasar. Wait, you're red and they call it red? That's like if I... Never mind, sir. Do you give him shit? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Dragon Ball. Red you're, Mark you're... Balasar? Balasar, yeah. B-A-L-A-S-A-R. Red Mark Balthazar. Right. I'm going to go into spring form. Okay. Um, because I feel hopeful that we're going to find some answers in the swamp. Okay. Super hopeful, guys. Yeah, you're all like hey. optimistic all of a sudden, happy. You went from an ass to an awful. Mm. That's amazing. To a what? Awful. I went from an asshole to a, just an awful human being. Awful. You're a terrible. Obnoxious. Me the coffee. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Please. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Balasar says, uh, I can get you close to the to the swamp, but I'm not taking you in. Boats that go in don't come out. Oh, that's all right. We 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 got plenty of bravery over here. You don't need to bring any with you. And I puff out my chest with my the flames ish the the ish ah, red wavy, flames red wavy chest. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> You'll be taking yourselves in if you need any. We've got some beasts of burden if you want some. In How old? Oh yes. Uh, where are you going to be making port? And you got like, is there roads nearby? I've never been. Uh, there's a few towns in the way in that will hit. They're rather small, but we we'll use them to trade. Uh, closest thing to the swamp is a peacekeeper's outpost. Mm, those are always nice and exciting for us. If you guys at home want to name this episode something about hot tits, let us know. <laughs> Who is he talking to? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you're gonna stop at two towns. So it'll be like two days. You'll hit mm-hmm. town. Two more days. You're gonna hit another town, and then the last day you'll stop at the peacekeeper outpost where they're turning around and they're gonna ford back up with the mules they have in the mm-hmm. hold. They'll pull them back up river. Oh, much obliged. That's thought, fantastic. Temujin, I thought the peacekeepers were evil. Yeah. No, I mean there's just not a lot of them left. Mm. If I had to guess, I. And I'm pretty good at understanding the political ramifications and the way all the pieces fit together. I think the peacekeepers were the ones that were keeping all these gates and things at bay and keeping other folk from investigating them too much. Mm-hmm. That's what they were keeping away most of the time. And it was when they got, uh, well, diminished in numbers that things started going bad. I bet more or less they're, more or le- they're mostly on the same side we're on. Mm. Okay. Oh, by the way, yeah, we've been to a peacekeeper in encampments before. We did not have the peacekeeper of where I came from. We had the king's guard. Um, these peacekeepers are they the guards of the towns? Uh, sorta. I do that. I do all sorts of things. But yeah, if you're looking for a blanket statement. More or less. How close can you get to this swamp? To the peacekeeper encampment. How close that is. is that? Yeah, is that on the map? Uh, yeah, it's about a day away from the Who has swamp. The map? Uh, I do. No, he's right here. Damn I it. grabbed it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> here you go, Temujin. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> you just hand him everything. Ah. All right, so I open it up. Oh, so, I got yeah. 25 gold that I haven't given Temujin yet. Oh, Temujin, Temujin. What? Here. What is this? This is, yes. This is yes. <laughs> what, what's 20, in here? 25 gold. What am I going to do with 18 gold? Hmm. <laughs> 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 the man told me it was 25. Oh, man. You got to stop going alone to those things. Even the priests are screwing you. The elf was there. It was 25. Well, we did know that he was a little suspect, being a new guy and all. But I think we can trust him most of the way. You can schemes a little out <laughs> on the ground and count it if you want. I just dump it into my pouch. <laughs> this was 25. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I don't even remember what you were talking about. The map. 
The map. Ah, oh, uh, yes. Map. I pull out my Sharpie. I'm like, here's where we are. <laughs> <laughs> you start marking it up? Yeah. <laughs> and this is where we're going. We're going to go out and around. So you guys basically, you're going to follow uh, the river that was passing the town down towards the swamp in the middle of the of the peninsula and there's oh, so no towns boat. marked on the map because it predates a lot of uh like humanity in the area ah uh, look at see i'm already learning i thought we were going to go out in the sea but balasar is like oh right here yeah that's one town okay that one we'll call it town a sure the next one we'll call it town, town b, b. They're small towns, right? One is like, you know, uh, I don't know, Ravenswood. Another one is going to be like, uh, beep, beep, boop, you know, Johnson's Crossing. <laughs> They're like <laughs> little towns. Why are they both so phallic? <laughs> Ravens, Ravens, Cock, and yeah. uh, Johnson. Just keep going. So, uh, and then about the last little bit, a day from uh, Johnson's Crossing is... <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Is the peacekeeper encampment. The peacekeeper encampment. Right. And it's about a day out from the edge of the swamp. Okay. Wait, is this the same encampment that we went to the first time? Wait a second. This, yeah, that's where... Yeah, I mean, you weren't there, but we met the, the halflings. They were going to the swamp. And uh, this was way back. Was this... Well, on our, I think this was like our first, second mission. Remember when Rost got all flubberty yes. dusted and we went off? This is the same encampment. Yeah. We're, we've been here before. Do hey, you want to go I in? even got the stone from the thing that was here before. That was, you pull it out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As soon as you pull it out, everybody's eyes kind of start to water and you guys hear like this weird high-pitched ringing like when the fridge starts to die. Oh, God, Timogen, put it away. What's wrong? Put it away. The captain's like, gods, what is that? That's a rock. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. I got tinnitus. I don't know. Is it ringing? <laughs> I just always hear that shit. How many of those stones do you have? Just one. Well, that's all I have. I don't know. Maybe you guys got more. You did have more. But now you just have the one. Do we still have the necklaces? Mm -mm. I buried mine. Oh, that's right. I don't okay. you guys want. And then Orin had one. That's right. And map cases. You still have map cases. So we still have Manas. I just probably don't remember. That was the case that was hiding the amulet and the There's scrolls. an amulet in the map case. And a bunch of blank scrolls. Because the amulet was bad. And it was protecting from divination inside the case. So you can't divine things in it. Right. Mm. Mm. Temujin, are you sure you want to go into this encampment? Well, no, but I mean, we got all these lovely gentlemen with us, and we're gonna keep on heading away. We don't need to go to the encampment. We've already been there. There's nothing left. No, there's not. We already took care of it. Mm. Is there like still foliage and everything around it? Like the encampment? Yeah, there was. I mean, you guys are left. You guys are having this conversation at some point before you get there. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like, let's say that you stopped at Ravenswood already. You guys made port. They traded a little bit. You guys hit the bar. Some of the sailors got drunk. You got back on. So this is between Town A and Town B. Mm. I take out my mall. Do you think we could rent any of the harlots here and then <laughs> drop them off over at Johnson's Crossing? <laughs> Do you think you could throw them all? By the way. May use it to make a range attack? All of who? With disadvantage. Okay. It's not a ranged weapon. It's just interesting, because if you use it as a ranged weapon, it returns to you. Similar to my returning javelin. My maul? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You, you can throw it 20 feet at disadvantage. <laughs> and it would come back to me? Mm-hmm. With that F? <laughs> <laughs> it's Isn't magic. It, it's kind of... Is it? Yeah. That's he what I do when I plus one oh, your weapon. Really? Yep. He is oh. freaking you. you. Should, should I get try. sharpshooter now? Ignore <laughs> 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 range penalties and to three quarters cover with a maul. Yeah. As they return, it disappears, right? Yeah, and then it, it's just like. Yeah, what I basically did with his maul is I had my uh, cloud of uh, nano. 
things, encase it, and then it just like comes and returns to him. So he has like a mall that does it like molecularize the thing and turn it to atoms and uh, reform his hand. Bends time backwards to before when he threw it. No, however you want it to. Uh, I was thinking basically he has another copy of the mall, which isn't so when technically he how it the would, mall, would work. He throws the box but I figure we would put it in like a bag or something that he wouldn't use anyway. So he only still has the same mall. Yeah, you can't have two. Yeah, because that could break the game. Yeah, but feel, feel essentially, what it does is it coats it and it makes a copy, copy. of it that mm-hmm. you would pull back to you. Hmm. Well, okay. I, for one, am looking forward to Johnson's Crossing. Believe it or not, is this, this before or after mark? the peacekeepers? It's before. That's before. How how big of a crew do you have here? It's like him and six guys. What does their names? I don't okay. care about their Red names. Red shirt one through six, and <laughs> <laughs> Balasar. <laughs> Are they all dragon? What business you guys? No, uh-uh. are they're all... mostly human. There's a half elf, okay. and then he's the only dragonborn. Hey, you're just like that one. <laughs> the half elf. So the half elf. <laughs> he gives you an ugly look and then goes below. <laughs> like that was weird. Was that I thought you room? guys said like were common cousins or something. I do not know him. The city where I came from was not mainly elves. About was, half and half. Oh, so you're half too. There's a lot of elves, though. A lot more elves than anywhere around here. There are half elves. Yeah, I am not. Yeah, it's not I am not an elf. I am Eladrin. Uh huh. Eladrin. Drop. That's great. Is that like the Elios? This is my name. You do not know my name? Helios. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you guys are just going to bullshit the whole time? Mm, I'm. A f- That's all he does. I'm a little bit afraid <laughs> to get into things that aren't bullshit. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys end up at the second town. Uh, there's a night of revelry where they sit and basically blow up the local bar. Uh, not blow up, but like they pack it out with sailors. Pack it out with six sailors. <laughs> it's a small town. The bar has like 15 seats in it. Oh. We put a tr- as many semen in as we can. Yes. You pack the bar with semen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Never mind. Let's, let's role play this. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled my horn of the <laughs> Do you really? No. <laughs> when you got Alex doing it, you know it's gone too it's far. Time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I summon ten. <laughs> Do you? No. You would okay. have done nine though. <laughs> they're my party. They're my party berserkers. <laughs> I mean, how long do they hang around for? Yeah, I mean, they're spirits, so I don't okay. think they would drink. I don't want to do it. Oh, they probably would drink. Spirits. No, that's right. I mean, they they're like familiars, right? Mm. Like are they, they material people, or are they incorporeal? No, they're material. They they turn into berserkers. You summon them from that place. Mm. Okay, that's sweet. They're from what? Yasgard. Mm. But it's like, think of like you're calling ancient warriors from Valhalla to come and... Yeah, and they want to fucking party, dude. Yeah, or they want to fuck you, things up. Let's get some lady warriors. And Josh said they're all males. <laughs> How no. many lady warriors can you draw? None. None? No. <laughs> fuck that. So women don't get to go <laughs> to Valhalla? Idea. That's <laughs> sexist. They do. They just don't show up when he blows the horn. Man. Because they know who he is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, We're not going to go hang out with hot tits. You guys go ahead. <laughs> 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 but those guys, they want to hang out with hot tits. Yeah, they just want to kill shit. They don't They're care. like, who's calling me hot tits? <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm down! I'm mm. going! Oh, it's this... Oh, it's a guy. They, they have karaoke at this bar? <gasps> no. It's, just a, it's like a pub. Do you want I'm, to singing, I'm singing Alanis Morissette. <laughs> Which one? There's no Alanis Morissette. And I'm here... In Kermit. To remind you. <laughs> okay, whatever. So the mm. sailors will... Drink with you guys. Everybody gets smashed. Has a pretty good time. Unless you want to do anything totally epically stupid like open a gate, then the night passes. <laughs> no gate today. 
<laughs> That's good. <laughs> What's the determining factor? Every Whenever you decide. One. Whenever you roll I mean, one. if I had rolled one, I think I would have really considered it. Game over, man. Game over. Ah. Come on. Gate just summons a person that you name. No, the gate's going to tear a hole in the fabric of reality. Teleportation no longer exists. The space in between places is yeah, being infiltrated by ancient evils. that's why I don't like evils. face-stepping. <laughs> right, so what will happen is something will come through the gate. What if I did it when I was in the the Oz zone? The Ozone? <laughs> you mean in Oz's little room of weirdness? Yeah. You can see what happens. Yeah, that would be fun. The Twilight Ozone. <laughs> okay, so we're partying. We're not. We're done partying. Next day is all right. Yeah, we don't summon any barbarian women. No we don't barbarian women. The end of the campaign. Oz's right. sister. We could end the campaign in so many ways right now. Yeah. You guys could. You gave us a sort of wish. Yeah, no, this, this is I give you a sort of wish. <laughs> no, he gave me us the equivalent of it. It's, sort of gate. <laughs> Do you realize yeah. that all my magic items I'm attuned to negate the penalties that I have? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Here's something good for something bad. Mm-hmm. All right, so you guys, the next day you get back in the ship, you float down river, and you see um, the Peacekeeper Enclave coming into view. And you, we know it's empty. It is empty, <clears throat> and it's actually overgrown by, like, vines and crazy weeds and, like, weird-looking twisted plants. Look at that. It wasn't that long since you were last here, oh. but... Life seems to have abundantly consumed the the place. Mm. <gasps> you gotta hop out. What? What? I don't remember what we dropped, but didn't we drop something right under us where we are right now? In and it was Oh, it was a hammer. You no. you know how to swing a no. hammer. No. We got, no, Temager. No. This would be excellent. No, we don't need that hammer. What are you talking about? We he has it. a you great don't, mall. You don't have it's a, a greater mall. No. What if you were stronger? No. What if you? The what, last time he. What used if you didn't it, have to lose any fights? Yes. Well, the last time he used it, he attacked a friend. It is not uh, a great you don't, mall. You don't. No, you don't. That was Orin. Orin. Orin hit. Orin. Yeah. Orin oh. was a piece of shite. But you, you might be able to to hold it. I bet you're no. strong enough. No. You can withstand the evil. No. And <laughs> boy, you are withstanding me just fine. Ten I bet you. you can do it. Ten <laughs> And I pick Temujin up, and I... Throw him in the water? No, I... <laughs> I, like, turn and face him to the peacekeeper encampment that is empty. This is not time to joke, Temujin. What the fuck are you talking about? And I set him down. The hammer had nothing to do with that. We did that. Bob sort of. was listening to you guys, and he looks kind of confused, and he's like, I was here, like, three weeks ago. This place was fine. What happened here? Well, I think if if I got the storyline correct, uh, somebody did the no no and summoned some great evil. I think after the I don't know. I think the peacekeepers all were dead. All of them. Uh, this is where you're dropping us off. Yeah, the river still goes towards the swamp. It does, but we stop here. Well, is there anything we can do to get you to go further? No. Maybe some gold? Ships that sail past this point don't come back. You're saying no gold is worth his life. We can get out here. There's got to be some kind of price. You don't have it. Do you have a smaller boat? Is that I can buy? Nope. We have some mules in the hold we could part with. Mm. We can make a raft out of the mules. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can go ahead and use some of the lumber from the peacekeeper encampment if you want to and try to fashion yourself a raft, but we're leaving. This is it. Well, Mr. Redmark Balazar, I've had an excellent three days with you. Five days, whatever it was. It seems so much shorter than it was because we've, we've been, uh, you know, closest kin. You're on a tight ship here. Have a good trip. You're you're an excellent friend. I'll be back here in three weeks if you need to ride back up river. Three weeks? I'll do that much for you. All right, I appreciate that. We're going to be here for us. He said it was one week? No, it was one week to get here. It's not even been that. Well, then it's going to... Five days. 
He's going to go back up five more days. No, no. It takes double the time to get back. I have to work against the current. So what you're saying is you want a way to move faster upstream. Good day to you. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. All right. I'll work on it. I think I got an, I got a couple ideas brewing up in here. That's great. Three weeks from now, you and me, we're going to be even better friends. Promise. I'll drink to it. I did not know we were going to be here for three weeks. If we are yeah. not, then it uh, does not matter. Yeah, yeah. If, I, if I float back down here looking for you in three weeks and you guys aren't here, <laughs> that's fine. But all I'm saying is I'm extending you the courtesy that I'll be back here in three weeks, even though there's no one to trade with, in order to pick you up. Maybe when we come back, we'll have some things to trade. Oh, that would yeah. be great. We'll make it worth your while if, if we need to ride. Well, we're not who's going first? to there, correct? Who's <laughs> I'm first. <laughs> you go like, dink. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, you man. slide. <laughs> Give it a go. Bolt. Okay. Yeah, they throw, like, you know, they throw down a plank and you can walk off the boat into the shore. Great. That's fun. We're not going into the encampment, no? I mean, we gotta get off the boat so they can leave. This is just... here. Which side do we get off on? I don't know what side you wanna get off on, the side of the encampment or the other side? There's there's absolutely nothing on the other side, at least here. We got some pre-cut lumber. Maybe some... I don't, they did start we to rounds? unship some mules and they hook them up uh, to these huge bolt chains in the deck of the ship and they start dragging themselves back up river. I am good with carpentry. I could try to make us a boat if you would like. I do not know how long it would take. How about you go and grab that like... hammer that was under the water? I do not wish to use that hammer. I believe what we have it out is better. I'm just nervous, you know, about leaving it there for whoever to grab it. The encampment looks like the Feywild. Everything has grown in just weeks. What? What's a Feywild? It's the plant life that grows rampant. It does not move in, though. It would be Arcana to figure out why it's... Or it would be nature? Nature. Nature? I can't tell you why it would be doing this. I just know... Uh, let's see. Let's wonder if we get any more than goblins around here. The one with the chittery little, you know, insect bits. What was his name? That's a 25 for nature. Swebber. I don't remember. Yeah. 25 name. for nature. There's something wrong with the plants. Like, they're growing, but they're growing a lot faster. They're more violent. They seem kind of twisted. Uh, the sap that runs through them is dark. Right? So there's something strange about the plants. They're not normal. I take. Can I check the soil? Is the soil tainted? <laughs> I mean, you can check my taint for some soil. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Did you soil your taint? <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh my god! Do you the soils. From the, do, you, do you have an alchemist kit? An alchemy kit? Uh, I do not believe so. Okay, so you probably can't check the soil really well. I mean, you could just okay. like sift it in your hand and look at it. You could taste it. Nah. <laughs> I'm a Hands up and I leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Tasting someone's soil taint. <laughs> Somebody's done it. <laughs> Somebody put that on TV somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. The soil doesn't look obviously... Uh, Tainted? Disturbed in a way that uh, would make plant growth do no, this. No, looks fine. Okay. I'm going to wander around the encampment and see if we look for any signs of things since we last left. I'll go with you. Should we go in? I'm going to look for some lumber to yeah, see if it to can be removed in a way that I can use it as a ship. You yeah. can use some of the fence to make like a, you know, what are you trying to make? Are you trying to make like a galley? Uh, uh, I'm trying to make a raft uh, in a way that it's not going to have water seep through and maybe... Some sides, so we don't like have it e so easily to fall off. Okay. So did you guys tell me you, about this place? Unless you have help, it will take you yeah, like a day, now. most of a day. Okay. A I'm starting that. And if these guys take that long, then I'll have a raft. Okay. So you're gonna have to overnight here, probably. 
I believe if we would camp, we would walk away from the... Uh... There's perfectly good houses here with beds. That's overgrowing with uh, crazy looking vines that... The outside is, not the insides. We These beds are clear. What the inside looks like. Then let's find out what the inside looks like. Yeah. Are you guys walking to the encampment? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sweet. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> And we oh, walk sh- right back out. Just set it up and then we leave. <laughs> yep. like, nah, yeah, never done. mind. Fuck that noise. Okay. <laughs> We're here. <Yeah. laughs> Send in a couple of scouts. <laughs> Go check shit out. All right. So we'll just do like, this is the square that you're in. Okay. Marching order. Where is everybody? Tomat's always first. Me not. Not so I'm in front of you. Okay. You want to be in front? All right. Yeah. Elf, You're going to stay outside boy. the wall and build the I raft. was kind of side by uh, side following along, and he was telling me stories about yeah. how bad this place is as we're walking in. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you said the fence is probably the most? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just reclaimable. How far away from the, the <laughs> fence are these guys? I mean, they're walking into the into the main gate now. Okay. So I'll, I'll hang around the fence area. By the main gate? Yeah. So you have the fence. Okay. Yeah. So About how far away is that, would you say? It depends. They're going to walk into the enclosure, which is okay. like, you know, 300 feet by 200 feet. It's I'll, huge. I'll it's keep a big about hole. 60 feet away from them. And you can't work on the okay. raft. Okay. I'll follow them in since we're scouting for the first time. Is this you? No, that's Ilif. This is you, right? Yep. Okay. We need to get him a better mini. Yep. Nah. Depends on how long I live. <laughs> Yep. Well, you not expect him to live? Uh, depends on what happens in the next uh, hour or two. <laughs> okay, so you guys are walking in. Do we have any trolls? Mm. Why would you even say that? <laughs> because there's That's trolls. Easy. Right, because there's trolls. No, we don't have any trolls. We have large creatures with a club. Like this guy? That's a very That's large creature. Than a troll. <laughs> he's, he's big. That's... Look at the purple guy. We have two of those. Oh, this guy? The that's Formier? not a troll. Fomorian? Fomorian. Fomorian. That's what it is. There's another also, one behind them. Also a giant. <laughs> I mean, trolls are considered giants, aren't they? No. Well, I guess maybe here they are. I think they're large. Yeah, we'll use these guys. <laughs> it is good that they're not actually Fomorians. <laughs> no, Fomorians would be horrible. All right. So, yeah, you guys are walking around. Doing your thing. Is the soil kind of like a network of vines now instead of like. Yeah, you can't even really get to the soil unless you pull the vines up. Like Mm -hmm. it's all vines and roots and stuff. Is it difficult terrain? Yeah, it'll make you slower. Okay. Also, uh, any of the place where there were bodies that you guys left, Mm -hmm. there is an explosion of large tap roots growing out of the bodies, feeding the plant life. That's just disgusting. These are flesh eating plants. Can I uh, use Acid Splash just on some of the plants? Just see how they react to acid? Sure. Yeah. You just you splash acid in the plants, and you guys hear like a high-pitched sort of thin sure. shrieking noise, and the roots writhe around where you splash the acid. Splash the acid on the on these large tap roots. Would you like me to do that? I mean, yeah, give it a go. Desecrate the corpses, see what happens. What is a tap root? Uh, it's... Uh, like a carrot. It's a massive root that comes out of the body that feeds the rest of the plant. Who's there? These plants Who's talking to me? <laughs> I'm just telling you that's what it looks like. It looks like the roots coming out of the bodies are huge and thick and feed the massive plants. These appear to be uh, living roots. Yeah, they're alive. There's also things that look like massive heads of cabbage. It does look that like that are kind of like wild. scattered. In the Fey Wild, the plants would attack you. <laughs> Perhaps we should not go too deep, and indoors should be restrained, uh, refrained from. What? Small okay. quarters. I'm in agreement. Right, well, I... You were just telling me the stories about what happened last time? Yes, but obviously none of this happened. That's when everything turned to ash and inside out and wavy bad blackness. This, this is no better. This is obviously better. I mean... I would not want to step in the fair wild. I, neither would I, I guess. I, I don't know what that is. But, I mean, this is obviously better than 
Desolation. So Matt, what do you say? Don't you think this is way better than when we got here last time? Mm. When the fungus was growing off the corpses of the bad and everything was... The guy tried to eat us? Yeah. We have not... Now we have giant dandelions. Oh, no. <clears throat> it's different, that's for sure. We have not come close to one of these uh, things. I do not know that they will not try to eat us as well. What do you guys hear a, a noise in the main building? It's not, you don't even have to roll passes. It's like loud. Something's in there. Like clanging or roaring? Clanging, clanging and like bumping about. Hello. When the noise Hello. stops. What are you doing? What if, you, uh, what if someone, someone else is here? I didn't see a boat. They're obviously not the same ones that were here before. Now you guys can roll perception. Yeah. A duck. 18. 17. 21. Wow. I'll just use my passive. <laughs> 14. Okay. <laughs> so I hear something. Everybody uh, over here in kind of the main building area, uh, you see like a large eye look out the front window. You three hear a noise behind you. I look behind me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see two of the cabbage things kind of peeling back and opening up. <gasps> and out of them step giant humanoids. We what? Uh, it's like... I need more tiles, man. You have a million there. of them. Why do you got to keep the hat on them? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. They're cold. This is yeah, the worst cold. Airbnb ever. He said it would be empty. You must have gone to the wrong address. Oh, I'll never forget the time that someone <laughs> broke into my house and told me it was their Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Did I ever tell you guys about that? Yeah. It's fucking horrible. It's an awesome story. No, it's not. <laughs> my daughter saved their lives. <laughs> By accident. <laughs> they heard the... Are they that big? Are they really that big? They're very big. They're very, very big. These are not cabbages. The cabbage starts to peel back and they climb up out of a hole in the earth <sighs> where the cabbage was. Wait a second. That's... <laughs> Why are we growing these? That... Uh, who is up for just leaving and going down to the swamp? <laughs> Anybody? About five seconds ago, I was. <laughs> now we can't get back. We're going to fight so, the way through them. There's, uh, and then there's an eye in, in this one? Yeah. That, Whatever. Put I'm the beholder gonna, in there. Put the beholder in there? No, no. That's all this we can see. going to come out. Uh, oh, why is he so big, Josh? They're, they're very big. <laughs> they are. Are they all the same? Uh, the guy that's in that was in the house actually has like an axe and some armor on him, and he looks like he's a little bit more cautious. These two are kind of making weird animal noises and kind of grunting and growling as they come out of the earth. He looks like uh, more peopley, and he pushes basically just pushes a section of the wall out and comes out of the hole. Uh. I, <clears throat> so we roll initiative. Yeah. I look at him, okay. and I yell. <clears throat> Valhalla? I yell, no. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Fellow warrior, a few, a few weeks ago we were here, and this place was desolate. Now there's all this life. Glad to see that you are okay. He kind of sniffs the air a little bit, and he says, uh, Who are you? My name is Tamat Berage Ravakata. I equip my shield. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. That looks there. like a good idea. <laughs> Shields up. Yeah. We're doing initiative. Mm-hmm. Five. Nice. <laughs> nice. So, uh, Valesh. 
has Ooh. a 17. And the Cabbage Patch Kids have a 13. Fuck. Uh, Tomat has an 8. Mm. Man, you're so fast. Yeah, and right? Here we go. 11. Fast, 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 fast. Look at us. Speed demons. Doing well. What'd you get? I got a natural 20. The robot. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so he's got like, you know, like mishmash plates of armor kind of sewn together over him, and he has what looks like a very large version of Great Axe. And he says, Why are you here? We are passing through. And I'm since help we were him. since we were here a few days ago. I've noticed that there's all this foliage around. Life. Yes, it's good. From the mother. From the mother, yes. That is good. We will be on our way now. We were just passing through. You are made of meat things. And what are you made of? Life. And so am I, friend. Life needs life to live. There is some life on a boat. <laughs> That's going away. Don't let the sailors. <laughs> Quick, you can still catch them. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. Wow. <laughs> See, that's, that's we, evil. <laughs> that to me is evil. I figure they're probably going to be getting away soon. Are you actually saying that? I yeah, I said that. I don't know if this one's actually made of meat. I am comprised mostly of metal. Life eats life. That's true. This does not have to be so Life way. does eat life. I pull those, this a little closer. Those things behind us look like they're uh, aggressively... Uh, I mean, they're kind of like, you ever hang out with a dog that's like approaching you, but you don't know if he wants to bite you or not, and he looks like he might? They're kind of, it's kind of like that. Like they're kind of growling a little bit, sniffing low to the ground, sort of slinking up behind you. Friend, I am a hunter as well. Let's go on a hunt together. Oh my god, just, do you want to mate with this thing or what? I'm trying to get us out of our hero life, Temujin. I whisper. That's uh, uh, that's gonna work just great. Are you speaking giant or something? You can speak giant. You know. I, yeah, I do speak giant. You're Goliath. Yeah. So does he. Is that we're we're speaking giants right now? Sure. All right. Why not? Oh. He is a giant. Okay. Take back everything I said. Right. I'm not helping you. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're large giants. Why are you here? Again. We're just passing through. To where? Where the go? The swamp. Why you go to Valish home? I suppose there's knowledge that is stored there that we need. Would you help us obtain the knowledge? What are you saying? I'm say saying quietly. that you look the tastiest. <laughs> well, that sounds fucked up. <laughs> you trade Valish elf? They'll help you. I look at Tim and Jim. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying it in giant. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, know. <laughs> I look at Tim and Jim. If, if you're not going to manage this, I'll do it myself. Oh. All my insight. I don't I mean, know anything. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I look at the elf. <clears throat> Would you mind staying here for a few days? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of question is that? It was so good. You were like, what? Are you Madden's ahead? <sighs> My new brothers need life. Yes, and we'll get them life. I will not trade the elf, but we'll go find some together. We'll hunt together. Valish's first meal was a human scholar. So Valish, smart. Oh. Uh, so. I am not. <laughs> Valish, no. The better the life. The better the new brother's life. Mm. They need elf. <laughs> you will not get the elf. He's my elf. Small, but tasty? No. No, very bitter. 
You cannot have my robot. You make no trade. No, we'll go hunt together. Come on, brother. New brothers. No, they they do not want elk or mm. bear. They yes. want men. Oh, have you ever tasted steel? I have. <laughs> he pulls his axe out, and I pull my maul out. He's and like, I get my horn ready. Oh, then you know. weren't offering him the robot. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Baelish is saddened by your sacrifice, brother, but your life will not go unwasted." And Valhalla rejoices because they are going to reunite with me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go on initiative order then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had to do it in fucking giant. I had so many good plans. <laughs> yep, there or I had window. one delicious plan. <laughs> delicious. We're just watching him like... <laughs> and then he's like... And then he pulls out the horn. And once he pulls out the horn, I'm like... Oh, shit. Swing. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. Okay, so technically speaking, initiative order, I would be first. Yep. So you know what's going down. Yeah, so you see me grab horn. my horn, and we'll start there, right? Yep. yep. Uh, let's see here. So it's time to play with your new items, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. <laughs> Gonna light a candle? Send them through. I swear to God, if you open a gate, everybody dies. Uh, oh, help me! Right behind <laughs> us. Help me. I'm gonna cast the wise man grease, grease, so that they have to walk through it in order to get to us. All right, What's how does the grease radius? work? Read it. Uh, covers a ten foot uh, ground square centered within range. So, point in it. Range is 60 foot. Like right here. Flip. Flip Where, right upside here? down. Yeah, 10 feet. Where are you going? Uh, basically, uh, it's not going to cover enough. So, yeah, I'll put it right. Actually, yeah, I'll put it right underneath one of them. Okay, what happens? Uh, when it appears, each creature standing in its area must succeed a dexterity saving throw or fail or fall Which prone. Knows? Creature that enters that area Get or ends its turn there must also succeed in a dexterity. Oh, sure. I mean, he just puts exact it under size. one of these guys. Yeah. Okay. So, which one? This guy or this guy? Uh, I'll put it under that guy. Okay. He makes needs to make a death saving throw? Uh, a dex a death saving <laughs> throw? Yes. yes. Oh God, you killed death me. Death saving <laughs> throw? Uh, dex saving throw. It's a DC 14. Uh, yeah, okay. He makes it. Oh, my God. Okay. Why didn't you pop a turret? <laughs> okay. So, that happened. Next. Uh... Let's see, bonus action. Do I have anything I can do as a bonus action? You can also move, by the way. Yep. Uh, I will. I already cast a spell, so I can't cast another spell. Uh, I will move around to Kitty Corner from Elio. Over here? Uh, front more. more here? Forward. Yep, right there. Yeah, behind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that is my turn. Uh, Next is, so is uh, the big guy. Baelish. Baelish. Okay. Spends his bonus action and freaks out. He moves in. Oh, God. Oh, there goes me. You need to rage. Okay. You should have <laughs> just <laughs> raged in response. I mean, he can't rage in response yet. Oh, you mean when he first came out? He when he was talking, freaked he should have just been like... <laughs> he could have... Oh, God. That's really good for you. That's horrible for him. You got your new armor? Of course I do. Mm -mm. It's a plus one. So 16? Yep. Yeah, 10, 10, 17. One. God, he's got a plus seven to find that, dude. Take 23 damage. God. So, whiff. Whiff. And then, chunk. He just puts this massive axe into your side. Oh, no. And he yells, uh, yeah, he yells like, meat and life for food. Eat now, brothers. Speaking of which, it's the Tabbit's Path kids. It's half right. my life. He just had half my life, dude. 
Can't trash kids. Oh, Josh is. Uh, let me see how that grease spell works. One second. Uh, this guy will double move. So he double moves in. Okay, they this have to moves. enter the area or end the turn. Okay. Okay. So this guy is going to attack. He's going to go bite, claw, claw, bites purple. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, my God. Well, uh, it's nice knowing you guys. Oh my god, dude. I open the gate. <laughs> <laughs> so let me blow my horn first. The bite's gonna be eight. And the claw. So eight. And then twelve. That's twenty. Who's getting hit right now? And then Elio. Oh, this guy might not hit you, though. What's that? That's a 19? That's a hit. Okay. And then 13, so 33. He bites mm. you in the shoulder and rips at you and dislocates the arm holding the shield and then savages your kidneys with his claws. You feel like one of your kidneys is missing. You're hurt horribly. <laughs> the fuck? Ow. Uh... Next. Uh, yeah, uh, so Elio. <laughs> <laughs> How much hit points do you have left? Six. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> right there in the middle of all the life lovers. <laughs> so, if I face step anywhere, I die. Possibly. How many hit points do you have? Six. six. You roll a d6. Yeah, I'm not taking my chances on that. <laughs> Come on. I bet you can do what it. What could be the worst thing, though? You can happens. do it. Are they you made can... of plant? These guys are look like they're made mostly of plant-like material. He looks like he's made of meat. All right, I turn my attention on the first plant because I can't do anything else. You could do a lot of things. No, I can't. Sure you could. Yeah, I could run and leave these guys to die. <laughs> Just need to run. You can face that. That's two things. That's not a lot. I turn around. Mm -hmm. I, I already have my shield equipped. It did me no good. <laughs> 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 and I start swinging my scimitar of speed. Speedily. Oh, my God. This is so bad. There are so many different ways this could have gone. Yep. If only it wasn't all in giant. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, what are we doing? Oh, he's talking us out. That's amazing. 18 oh, no. is my lowest. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to hit him. Hit he him. is talking us out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's all you keep saying. Oh, my God. So that would be 27. Three separate hits of nine. Okay, slash, slash, slash. Three quick slashes. How did that look to me? When I slash at the plant matter, does it look like I'm cutting through lots of vines, or am I barely touching the surface? No, you're cutting through some chunky vines. Like, you're taking pieces out of it. Yeah, does it look like I'm doing much? I mean, it's not quite bloodied yet, but it's hurt. Like, some of the major vines are torn asunder. <sighs> If I get hit once, I'm done. I will action surge. Yeah, do it. And use the dodge action. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And start right. quickly maneuvering out of the way of this. What is he hitting me with? His teeth and claws. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm done. When they run, too, they have these long, kind of, like, ropey arms. They run on all fours, like some sort of ape. I'll move in front of Temujin, <laughs> cutting them off like this? from him. Yeah. So you Ooh. cut this guy off from Temujin. Yes. Okay. That's all I can offer you, my little bit of protection. Uh, that's good. Who's next? Come on. <laughs> yeah, I have to rage. Yeah, you do it. 
And then, um, I guess I can't blow my fucking horn right now. Why not? Well, is it an action? Why can't you blow your horn? Blue boy, blue. You need to blow that fucking horn. <laughs> yeah, we need meat sacks here. You guys need meat shields real bad. Okay. Yeah, here, you wanted life? <laughs> That's right? what you should have done. Yes. I can give you lots of life. So many different ways this could have gone. <laughs> Roll 2d4 plus whatever. And how does it work? Do you summon them where you're at to near you? Um. Okay, so it doesn't say... All Within right. 60 feet of you. <sighs> Where do you summon them to? Let's see how many I have. So, I already have two. I roll max fucking max. Almost. No. One wow. Minus. So, so we get seven and two, so I have nine of them. Nine That berserkers. is a lot of berserkers. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> three around each of them. Okay. What do you want to do? <laughs> so, one, two, three... One, two, three. Well, I would say, like, and if I can get one in front of the, um, where here, uh, in front of the robot, on the in front of on the, the yeah, robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You should do uh, numerical ordering so you know which one. Do like a one, a two, a three, so five, six, nine of these fuckers. Case it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Probably not that much. One. Two, three. Good job, hot tits. Thanks, dude. <clears throat> okay, so you blow the horn. Oh my god. That was my action. Do they have to like roll into initiative, or what do they do? Sure. Next round, the berserkers aren't going to go on a uh, more than the trolls, probably. Uh, seventeen. The Berserker's going to 17 next round. Uh, the <laughs> big guy uh, with the axe rolled a 17 as well, so did they go first or second? Purple's big guy, black is Berserker's. Uh, Berserker's will go first. Nice. So I'll put him up to an 18. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is so bad. So that was your action, your bonus action um, rage. Yeah, and I don't can't take any other actions, so okay, you can move. Um, I don't move. want to. <laughs> I'll move. I'll swing around. You can't. You'll get out of if his. You swing range. around. This guy can take a bite at you. You oh, can okay. move as far as this. Yeah, that's what I'll. I guess I'll. That's what I'll do. Yeah, but, oh, you raised, right? Okay. Yeah, I. You raged. can move there. Opening up Temujin to face eatery. <laughs> He's already there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You could probably do something about it, right? Yeah, it's now Temujin. I go invisible. Yep. <laughs> you really? <laughs> You're yep. like, fuck this. <laughs> and then I leave. Where do you go? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Three. Da, 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 da. Cool. They don't get an opportunity to attack because you're invisible. That's what I'm hoping. That's what works. Nice. Oh, is that how it works? Yep, they have mm -hmm. to see they have you. They see you. Oh, okay. Good enough. Yeah, they didn't see me turn tail and run. Unless blind sense counts as seeing. Yeah. So if they could blind sense and they could still attack him, but well, they can't let's see hope it. they don't do that in addition to just fucking us up. Horribly. <laughs> Horribly. I have six hit points. They're trolls, man. <laughs> I did say we shouldn't come here. <laughs> and, or, and you also shouldn't fight trolls. You never said we shouldn't fight trolls. I thought like that was implied. Mm, I thought like there's, there's an implied don't fight the trolls. So you're saying you assumed... No, I thought this might happen. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have crit me and then... Oh my god. Crit, hit, hit. Crit, hit, hit. How do you like it, motherfucker? <laughs> Who's next? That's right. I am crit now bait in next. this one. Back you are crit bait. Uh, yeah, after... After five, five 20 gets next. So... Uh, let's see, I'm only in range of one of them. I will swing around to the side of that guy. This guy, you come around here. Yeah, I'm not closing distance. I'm staying the same distance, but over here, uh, moving to. Oh, what is That's blocking me from going left? This or from going so yeah that way. D12 you like this way? No, that way. Do they this have way. other actions? Yes. I think it's blocking you. Uh, if I go one more over there, oh, like I'm trying to swing around to that. his. Sure, yeah, yeah. you can go right. Swinging can go around to his right. Swinging, swinging around to his right. Still saying, staying about the same distance. 
Well, like his right, so like standing underneath the club kind of thing. Okay. Okay, over here? Yeah. Okay, sure. And then I will, I have a range of five feet. Do it. Get closer. So, am I not within five feet of him? Nope. No. Well, that's well, within five feet. I have five foot reach, I should say. Yeah, that's yeah. this. Yeah, so say you gotta be right on him. Oh, okay. Five foot is the default. Should I play the same no, I mean, death music I have already? Ten foot reach would mean that you can hit him and not be next to him. Everything else has a different reach. Listen. Oh, okay, never mind. Yep. I thought it was a reached weapon. No, nope, like you want five foot extra. But okay. Uh, on hit with. Okay, you so you could do. Th- okay. Hmm? Nothing. I could do. You could do whatever you're gonna nothing. do. Do what you want. Let's see. Cast invisibility and run. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about face stepping across the wall somewhere. You could. <laughs> but then I might pass out on the other end, which and would be die. really bad. Yeah, in the foliage. <laughs> I'm going to use. Okay. So I'm going to use lightning with my melee attack. So when I make a melee attack using a staff, you can cause a target to take an extra 2d6 lightning damage. It's true. So I get two attacks because it's a magical, magical weapon. weapon. So I attack twice with the staff. And one of those gets an extra 2d6. Let's see. One is a 16. Yep. And the other one's an 18. Yep. So. Where are you? You're on the other side of him? Where is he? Is he on the other I'm side? I'm using of the versatile, creature? Yep. so it's a okay. d8, so a d6. So I'm looking past this creature and I see my robot friend. Going for it with a stick. Oh, uh, could I? I'll take anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I won't do that. I mean, there's also three barbarians uh, around him. Mm hmm. That's true. We're doing well at surrounding them. Mm hmm. So 12, 13, 14 plus. Five is 19 damage. Okay. And the second attack, I will do. Why not? I'll do thunder. When I hit with a melee attack using staff, you can cause the staff to crack, uh, emit a crack of thunder audible to 300 feet. The target you hit must succeed on a DC 17 constitution save. Or be stunned until the end of my next turn. Oh. Okay, so he fails viciously. Uh, he is stunned until the end of my next turn. <clears throat> okay. Oh. So scrap. I mean, that's good, but I wasted my action surge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. <laughs> yeah. If you had gone for it instead, he'd be dead now. Yeah. Yep. That is uh, my turn. I wasn't sure. So now it is down to. It's holding its ears and it's like. Scrap! Berserkers. Oh, yeah. Yep. My Berserkers. Setup. All right, can I roll for my Berserkers? I mean, sure. You get three each. I get so. Th- oh, wait, you get six. They're reckless. They are reckless. Yeah, they're all reckless. How many so, dice do you have? And I, this guy. I'll be quick about so it. So just roll two dice three times for this dude. Yeah. So number one. Um. Oh, it's plus, plus five, so it's 18. Okay. Um... Uh, 16. Okay. And a hit. 18, 16, and they're all three hits, so we're just going to say 9 damage for each. That's what we're going to do to make it fast. 9, 9, 18, 9, 27. Oh. Yep, sorry. So... But it's a d12. Yeah, okay. He dies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Okay, so this guy. Two, three times, ready? That's a definite hit. 17. Um... Let's 12. See. 12. No. And that's a hit. Okay. 16. So 18 damage. Okay. Hack, hack. Oh. Baelish. That's not a hit. That's a natural 20. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. That hits Baelish. And that's a 20 to hit. So. Yes. Yeah, so Baelish gets hit twice. Okay. So, so the natural 20, I'm just going to double it and say 18 damage to Valish. Okay. And the other one's going to do 9. So All 18 right. and 9. Valish like looks, you know, not happy, but not super phased. Then it is his turn. <clears throat> Valish. Okay. 
Um, Baelish yells, no, brother, I will avenge you. <coughs> and then he's going to hack at you. Um... Uh, How much did your barbarians do over there? My god, Valish, you suck. Did Ten. All hit this guy? Fifteen. Two hit. Two hit. Fifteen? Nope. Fif- no, because I was sixteen. Okay, seventeen. So he hits you once. Oh, oh sucks for you do not have so plus much. one armor. You have plus one weapon and the manta. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> it does. Damn it. Damn it. Two hits. hit you twice. Okay. Uh, well, here we go. it becomes a sixteen, doesn't it? You said that a plus one would put you at a seventeen? No. No. Plus one puts him at 16. You have yeah. no dex mod, okay. right? No. 16. Okay, so he's going to hit you twice. So, 6. Sorry. Sorry. Plus 4 is 10. So Half. Five. 5. 5. And then... Uh, 22. So, 11 more. So, oh. so 5 and then 11 is what you take for a total of 16 after reductions. You still have more hit points than me. <laughs> so, he buries Ow. the axe into your shoulder once. Chaff. Yanks it out, rip, and then comes in and hits you in the stomach. Okay. Well, but it's he, like... He won't be doing that again. I mean, it looks like he's chopping wood. This guy is, like, just, like, tough. I feel like Timogen's useless every time. <laughs> Kills kids and runs away. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're next. So he, and he yells in your face. <sighs> next is the uh, Cabbage Patch. Hmm... <laughs> He's gonna follow Valish's lead. Bye bye. Did you reckless? Bite claw no. claw. I haven't. I haven't attacked yet. So that's gonna yeah. hit you. Sixteen yeah. hits you. Now. I guess. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So hit hit hit. So this guy's gonna do. Fuck. Six divided by two is three. Yeah, I'm going down. Um, 13 divided by 2 is 6. So 3 and 6 so far is 9. You're down. Uh, no, up. he's not down. Okay. I got one hit point left. Yeah, you're down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And... So hack, hack, and then nom, nom, nom. Wait, 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 wait. What happens to the barbarians? Oh, that's a good question. He just summons them. They're friendly to you. They are up... They are there until they fall to zero or an hour's past. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they're gonna keep going. You better get up before they kill everyone. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. I'd like to do that. They guys. would turn around on us. But you <gasps> decided not to do a cleric, so <laughs> You want me to make another cleric? <laughs> uh let's see. Next after the cabbage guys. Uh eleven is Ryan, yep. So Yep. I don't really know if I want to go next to him. Am I in his threat range if I leave? Oh, no, it doesn't matter because he can't hit me unless I'm five feet away and move away. So I'll move away. If you're in his threat range, he could, but I'm going to say well, no. Well, with attacks tax opportunity, you have to be within five feet. Okay. So I'm going to move away. Is that how it works? So you move this way? Well, Where are you going? I'm thinking more that way towards the wall. Yeah, what, to this straight way? towards the mason jar. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Right there. That's the wall. I pull out my bow. <laughs> okay. I shoot. Go for it. Twice. The Cabbage Patch Kid? Or Valish? Uh, it doesn't really matter. The big one. The purple guy. The purple guy? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> well, that's a miss. It wasn't a botch. Good. <laughs> I'm glad I moved away. <laughs> Worse than the first one. A three and a two. <laughs> miss and miss. You're panicked. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, I'll use my bonus action to heal. Okay, go for it. That's my turn. Go ahead. Who's next? After Ryan. After 11 is 8, Matt. That's it. You're used to this by now. <laughs> yeah, you should gain proficiency on those. No shit, right? <laughs> should have been a zealot. Like Skyrim, you just gain proficiency by doing it too many times. Uh, mm-hmm. I did read Attack of Opportunity. It says uh, make an attack of opportunity when a hostile creature that you can see moves out of your reach. Yeah. 
But so if they have reach, they don't have reach anywhere that I can see. Okay. They would just say their attack uh, under the attack. It's like five feet or ten feet. Reach five feet. Reach five feet. Yeah. So five okay. feet. I swore it didn't work like that. Yeah. But maybe I'm wrong. I think if they're bigger and that you believe they reach, that's the way it works. But these guys, it doesn't matter. Thank God. So I would have gone down. <laughs> Let's see, it was Tamat made the death save. Then it's Brian. All right, I'm gonna break my invisibility by casting Eldritch Blast at the Purple Wonder of the World. Cabbage yeah, Patch Kid. Pew pew. Miss, miss. Um, it's sixteen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I guess just for record keeping sake, ten. No. No. Okay. So I got one of them. And it is seven damage. Force. Okay. Splow. Some vines get tore away. And I go this way. Do 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 four five. Okay. I put a wall of those things between us. Sure. Uh, after five, it's me at the top. I feel less good about that now. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Is he 30 feet from me? Who? Uh, Tamat. Tammy? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Yes. He's more than 30. He's 35. 35? Okay. Uh, okay. My movement speed's 30, <laughs> so I can't get to him. So I cannot bring him up. You can't healing word? Nope. Mm. Healing word I have only ever cast from the ring, which the cleric guy put in there. Oh. We needed so. you, Elif, Ilif, whatever Ilif. your name you guys was. Ilif. I tried so hard. <laughs> and you got so far. Ooh. You can move right if you move, you can move right here in between the two of them and touch him. Oh, and that is that sounds... 30 feet? That's 30 feet from where you're at. Watch. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, man. It was nice knowing you. Okay. Uh, Kirunes. You get 8 hit points back. Actually, they might not like you because you're not life. In fact, the only life around him is actually just a month. So... <laughs> I'm used to this. This is what happens. I bring them back up. They put them back down. I bring them back I mean, up. They're not they super smart. Yeah. But they can smell us. Mm-hmm. Keen sense of smell. And do I have anything I can do as a bonus action? Other than casting spells. Did you frenzy? No. I haven't been able to do anything. He, was he, was he blew the horn no, and I went didn't. down. I didn't say frenzy. You learned your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I frenzy. Uh. I frenzy more. Uh, exhaustion. Thank you. Yeah, uh, no, action, not. action. Yep, I can't do anything else. So it is now Berserkers. All right, man. I would like to say that because I healed him, the Berserkers know I'm friendly towards him, just like they are. That's not how it works. <laughs> I can dream. That's a hit. So wait, these guys are going to move, right? They're going to move in. Mm-hmm. One, two, and he's going to go over there. Three. So that was a hit? Yep, I got one okay. hit, two hits, a natural 20. So okay. So three, four hits. Uh, wait, the natural 20 is just, yeah, okay. Right, right. So four hits, um, five hits. Has he go down yet? Uh, five times nine, five. no. What? Uh, that. 14. 14? Uh, no. So five times. So he's horribly, horribly fucked up. Hack, 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 hack. Well, let's see. What is that? Five times what? Nine, forty-five. Forty-five plus, plus yep. nine more because of crit. No, I counted the crit. Oh. Yeah, we counted that as two. Yep. So forty-five. So it's he's horribly hurt. Okay, and then I have the other three. Yep. The other four. 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 So that hits. Yep. That hits. So that it's harder to hit Kalish. So I don't know what you're hitting. That does not hit. What What are you hitting for AC? 
Uh, oh, it was, it was like 19 20 each time, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. except for the miss, which and was like a two and a four. Yeah, okay. Just so it was miss, twice. or hit, hit, and do you do two misses? One miss. So roll again. So you had four guys. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's a hit. 17. Plus 17. five. 17. Plus, plus five. five. Oh, okay. oh, plus five, yes. Okay, so that's three hits then. Okay, so, so three guys, so 27. nine, nine, you're 27, right. All right, Valish looks unhappy about life, but otherwise okay. And so does Tamat. <laughs> True. Uh, after Berserkers is... Baelish. Baelish and then Cabbage Pets, guys. Okay, so Baelish turns on these guys, because he's super pissed. Just um, don't stand up yet. <laughs> Not like you had a choice. Let's see what the Berserkers are easy to hit, but have a lot of hit points. Yes. And they're so reckless. Hit, hit, hits. They're reckless. Oh, yeah, okay. So let's... Uh, Make sure you don't get to no crits in there. Yeah. Right. Nope. But he hits three times. So he's going to swing on three different Berserkers. And what does he do for those three? Uh, 24 for one. 20 for the other. Ugh, and seven for the third. Twenty back, for the back, other, back. and yeah. then seventh for the third. Yep. Can we party with them after we kill the trolls? What do you mean party with them? Yeah, you can. They disappear after they, an hour. Yeah, they're here for another hour. We might as well make use of the time. We'll have them cut down okay. the fence. And then what is? Help <laughs> me put it together. The raft. And Go then to war with the fence. Uh, the cabbage patch kid. Kill the bites. Oh yeah, that too. Maybe we should have them explore the rest of the ruins. Yeah, destroy everything within here, <laughs> but don't Go burn nuts. it. Okay, so he hits twice and misses once, but he's gonna hit the same guy. Which guy was that? The one that he? This guy back here. Okay, so one of them. So he's gonna roll uh, eighteen damage on this dude. He and no thing claws chicken claws. wings. No, they can take more hit, more hurt than you guys can. Okay, after them is Elio. Or no, Elio. Yeah. Yep. Poing, poing. All right, roll twice. Cabbage Patch Kid? Sure. He looks hurt, right? He is hurt. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah. Just keep getting better by one. Wow. 16? 16. 16, yes. Wait, yeah. Let me check that. It might be 15. Is so 15 also a hit? Yes. Okay, that's a hit. All right. Shoots Cabbage Patch Kid. Nine. Okay. Nope. Seven. An arrow sticks into his chest meat, chest vine, slunk. I will <clears throat> stay away from the wall, however far away that is. That's on the wall. You're on the wall. Oh, I'm on the wall. The wall's right here. The wall. I come diagonally towards the snake thing over here. This thing? Diagonally that way. Yeah, you did. Move this way. That's good. I don't want to be right next to the vines. Okay. I mean, there's vines all over the place. You're standing on them. I don't want to be next to the vines on the wall. Okay. Uh, let's see. After Elio is Tamat. Do you stand up? Yeah. Okay, you stand up. Now what do yeah. you do? I'm reckless. Did you rage first, or do you have... Oh, wait. You can rage after or before, but before is better. Yeah, because okay, it just so, adds two to your damage. Right, so I, well, I rage. Oh, we could have been brothers in arms. We could have hunted together. Now taste my maw. And I don't hit him. I rolled a... <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, wait. A nine, oh, this is a nine, not a six. So nine and seven is... Sixteen. Uh, yeah. No. For Valish? No. Oh, really? Yeah. He's harder to hit. And I don't hit him again. Okay. <laughs> that sucks. There's one all. Here you go, lick it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> See it right there. <laughs> lick my big wooden stick. And <laughs> next is no one. <laughs> Come again. It's Ryan. No. No. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna scamper, scamper, scamper. It's three, and then I'm gonna blast uh, that big purple yogurt motherfucker. Wow! Oh, Ooh, one of them is misses terribly, but the other one is a crit. Nice. Roll your d10. And then I roll a d10 again. 
I mean, I just usually double them, but sure. I no, no, you know, not when I roll one. <laughs> um, so six, seven, plus five. Um, I can't add it. Twelve. Okay. Twelve force damage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that just square in the kidney and it goes down. Nine berserkers around one guy. Mm -hmm. Can they all fit? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. No, he's big. <laughs> he's large. Yeah, they can't. But uh, there can be eight around if each, or two on each side. One, two. Oh, Unless right, you would six. fit one diagonally. He's, no, maybe he's large. Then it's three, six. We'll nine, figure out when they move. Twelve. There'd be twelve people around him. We'll give him a diagonal. Uh, let's see. After Brian is me. Uh, I am going to. Uh, would it be too much metagaming to cast Scorching Ray on all three of them? All three of what? The two that are down? The two that are down and this guy. I would say yes. Matronic. Okay. Unless you had uh, rolled you your nature. You could roll nature. But that well, would be, be your action. action. Oh. Yeah, you don't do that. I rolled them. Uh, I rolled, as you said, nature. So I guess I could not. Yeah. Did you botch? Uh, I didn't botch botch. I rolled a one and a seventeen. So you so. just failed. Yeah. Okay. But I would say that's my action, even though I didn't think that it would take my action okay. because it would be too much to say. Oh yeah, I just didn't one. Uh, so you're like, what are these guys? What are these guys? Yeah. What are these guys? Um. Those yeah, that would have cute. to be my turn. So it's then right. it would be. You'll figure it out in a minute. Berserkers. <laughs> And these guys are going to attempt to come around it. Can they run and move. jump over their friends and plant their axes? They can, these guys are going to double move, so don't roll for them. But roll for one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 15 and 5 is 20. Come on, hot okay. tits! Not a hit. Uh, 17 and 5. Um, you only roll twice, unless you frenzied. No, this is for the berserkers. Oh, sorry. That you rolled so six of them. Yep. So I rolled three times. So a hit, miss, hit. Okay. So then roll three more. Eighteen and five is a hit. Wow. A natural twenty, and I rolled a one on my. So that's hit, hit. <laughs> so is this guy still up? And look at that. That's good that you're rolling right. Yeah. Asleep. Nineteen. Okay. So six times. Is that 63? Six times nine is 54. Six times nine is, oh yeah, you're right. 54. Okay. Uh, yes, Baelish is still up. <coughs> oh my god. Peter Baelish. Well, it's his turn. He has holes in him all over the place. They're healing as he fights. Can you imagine if you didn't summon it's your berserkers? It's Baelish's turn. Yeah, he's roaring in rage. If you didn't summon your berserkers, it would be over already. Mm -hmm. It's his turn. All right. Who is he hitting? He... Because those guys are all reckless, except the guys that moved. Did you add nine to your yeah, extras? Yeah, AOE shout. What's that? Did you add <laughs> nine to your extras? No. I don't know if <laughs> he's been doing math because he nerfed it. Or not nerfed it, he just averaged it out so it would go faster. Yeah. So like, did you add nine, or did you add nine creatures? Yeah. Yeah, they're all still up. <laughs> One has 42, has 47, 49, and 60, and the rest are at right. full health. He looks at you, and he says, uh, This is because of you! And he swings three times. Okay. Oh, sad. Did you reckless last turn? Oh, yeah. Did you reckless last turn? I don't think. I can't remember. You swung twice. I think you did reckless. I think you did. Yeah, I probably did. I always do. So let's okay. just say yes. So one fifteen three, and then six. This will be a fifteen because that was the better of the two. Um, all right. So he's gonna thirteen. That is not a hit. Seventeen. That is a hit. Twenty two. That is a hit. <laughs> Uh, 12 six. or 6. 
I'm gonna do stone's endurance on that thing. Okay, so go it's ahead. three. Okay. Or wait, it's a D12. So he did six to you for that one. Yeah, you got two of them right here. So that doesn't do anything. Okay, so you're just like, ah, you take it. The second swing is going to deal 18 divided by two is nine. You're like, that's the one. So you're like, ah. And then he's like, chop, and gets you again. Whoa. <laughs> And I fall to the ground. Welcome to the ground. <laughs> we really have to have you go in raging. You're on, you're on like a paddle ball. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I would have been raging yeah. if, like... You would roll higher Two things. Initiative. We right. need to start further away from them. Well, you can't help it. We can't help it. It's just how the way it goes, right? This time. So what are we doing? Is it Berserkers next? Nope. Uh, after it is the cabbages. <laughs> They're uh, down. And then Ryan. Me. You the guy's still up? Mm hmm. I use this clunky creature as cover and I shoot, shoot. Go for it. So I'll move up a little. I mean, you're using this cover. If you move up, then you won't be. You're back, kind of back behind him a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, then I like it right there. Shoot, shoot. One hit <laughs> at a 22. 12? Uh -huh. uh, damage? 12 damage. Okay. You put an arrow in his back. He roars. I keep doing that. <laughs> I like where I'm at. Where's Who's next? next? Oh, uh, I thought he was going to... Did you roll both attacks? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did. Okay. Next is Brian, then. My turns are relatively quick. <laughs> Mm -mm. You could You could do the thing. <sighs> no. He's so close. <laughs> but it is always so tempting. So first thing on the move. Couple. Keep circling. Last blast. Uh, I'm gonna check something first. Nods or evens it. Evens. Wait, wait, are you doing 50 50? Evens is where I change tactics. Yeah. Do you change the Hunger. <laughs> I keep. Where do you put it? I keep him out. You keep who out? Him? Uh, yeah, the corpse of my good, How about good this buddy, guy? Tammy. That's the robot. That? The robot. The robot. The, it's, his name is Axe Guy. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the robot will be fine. Even Alex called okay, himself so the robot. So do you get all of the berserkers? <laughs> uh huh. All you can leave. You probably have to leave these okay, guys I can out. Leave two of them. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and get the rest of them over here. Yeah. Spoke. Okay. Speak. Speak. You're no, more, no longer invisible. No, oh, he's no. not. Been I shed that there. for a while. You could have done a lot of other things too. Mm -hmm. Like just attack the guy. Sure. I did that a couple times. You whisper him. to him. Make him, him run. Can't um, run. There's that. nowhere to go. If there's nowhere to go, you don't go anywhere. Mm, would have, yeah. Can you step over? How much damage is that going to be for all these Let's guys? Let's see. So, open the gateway, yada, yada, yada. I guess I can run over to Mott's down body. <laughs> Or there's no a light spot over here. You Magical can or otherwise can illuminate the area. Creatures fully within the area are blinded. Creates difficult terrain. Any creature that starts its turn takes 2d6 cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn takes will succeed on a deck save or take 2d6 acid damage. I sure hope they don't understand that you're hurting them. <laughs> the circuitous. I so would actually find it really <laughs> hilarious if I had berserkers run over you. They <laughs> just like, well, hopefully I'm going to kill six of them. Right? <laughs> oh, they no. have 67 hit points. No. They're very hardy. Why are you trying no. to kill a berserker? Well, no, I'm trying to kill him, and I just don't care about the already dead dudes. So I'll move two more. After. Because I just keep doing that. <laughs> okay. And yeah, that's it. The end of my turn. 
I'm very concerned about this. <laughs> this uh, like come out and axe down the halfling. It's a wave of berserkers, and then he's hey, down he's a as they pass. Racist. Oh, is so he let's see. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Me next. I think the figure's a halfling, isn't he? So where is oh, this that's a gnome thing? Druid. Really? All right. I think it says uh, no, it on that's the a gnome, bottom. right? Yeah. All right. Where is this hunger of Hadar thing? Does it include here, like right in front of you? Oh, it doesn't include you. So you could uh, move okay. out of his reach without provoking, because he can't see you. Yeah, he's blind. And also, if you try and strike him, you're rolling a disadvantage. He's blind and invisible. Okay. Uh, he's down again, so I'm going to do another Kiruns. Okay. You're the nicest robot ever. Mm -hmm. You get six of points. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> this is what <laughs> And since I can walk away, I will walk that way twenty feet. Team twenty? Yep. Okay. It's right over there. Right. And that's my turn. So the next is Berserkers. And they're okay. all at disadvantage. Well, well, first they're all gonna take Well they're gonna roll at normal. Well they 2D6. roll deck save first. Uh, it's the end of nope. the turn. If you start oh, your yeah. turn, you just take two D6. Oh two D six cold damage. So they all take nine. Uh <clears throat> And then they all dish out nine. Yep. Well, at disadvantage. But uh, regular. Straight. Yeah, they're, they're all. This is the combat of Straight nine. roll. Straight rolls. For nine. All right, so nine I'm going to do two at a time. Nine damage. Uh, that's 18 and five, and a 12 and five, that's 17. 17, no, 18 and five, yes. Okay. okay. So I have to go above an 18 for right now. Or hit 18. Right, so 18 that's hits. an 18. Okay. And a uh, 15, so... Two hits. Okay. Uh, two hits, and I rolled two, four, six. Yep, roll six. And two hits. What are you rolling? You're just rolling for two at a time. Yeah. To attack oh. the barbarians. So that's eight, so. and I got one more. Twelve and a five is seventeen. That misses. Okay. So how many so hits do you have? Two. Eighteen. Two hits. Yeah. Okay. Eighteen damage. Hack hack. Uh, Thing still up. And then, yeah. how many did, you, did they all take nine damage? Yeah. Then they might take more. They all then, have to roll dex. At the end of your turn, you take a dex save. So roll a dex for all of them. Just roll one save. Maybe two. Nah, just roll one. one? All right. I'm going to watch them all botch. I'm going to watch them all botch. <laughs> they just all the get botch. sucked into the void. <sighs> so their dex is a 12. No Valhalla so for you. One. They don't yeah. go back. <laughs> so roll a 15 at least. Seven. It's not a 15. So we get 2d6. It takes seven more. Seven okay. acid damage as milky, otherworldly tentacles rub against them. <laughs> this is not what they had in mind when they <laughs> showed up. They're well, if they screaming. just keep screaming and standing there, at least you'd get them all. What they need they... to do is not die when they're in the circle. <laughs> I have a feeling it goes poorly for yeah, even those I don't think they're going Valhalla. back to Valhalla <laughs> if that happens. They don't die. They, yeah. go they shall be else. preserved. <laughs> That's right, yeah. We have uses for you. <laughs> they become subjects for uh, us and stuff. After the Berserkers is the monster. Okay. He takes eight damage. He is bad off. He's going to swing with disadvantage a Actually, couple times. someone from our chat corrected us. If you can't see and they can't see, it cancels each other out. Because you have advantage to be hit, but they have disadvantage to hit, so then it's just canceled. Oh, okay. So if you're That's in the there with is. somebody. Yeah. All right. Like, sure. Because they can't see you and you can't see them. Although blinded, I don't know if that matters. I think when you're blinded, it's not the same. Because blinded is you can't see, they can see you. So it's not canceled out. And you can't even see them. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and the uh, creature's attacks have disadvantage. Right. So I'm blinded. So but that it would. to both of them. Yeah. Right. So, so I would cancel out. I have to hard stop at 1130. Just because I have some. We're going to win by that, Matt. I have a ride coming. So. Okay. He rolls 16. He's going to roll 20 damage on one of them. Take your pick. Yeah. <laughs> just take any pick? All right. He's just Fine, hacking into the most hurt guy you can find. Okay. But he can't see them. Right. Okay. He swings his axe in an arc and connects with something. I'll let him hit them. My most damaged. All right. 
Yeah, losing one, whatever. Oh, he's, he's not, not even gone. He's not even, yeah. he's not even down yet. I know. They're super beef <laughs> So after monster then, is cabbage patch. Do you take acid damage too? Mm. Dex save. And then Tamat. He makes it. He does not and take the acid it's damage. It's Elio. All right, Elio. That's good. Elio. Elio. <laughs> I like where I'm at. I already had my bow pointed at him, so I guess I'll disadvantage. Roll a disadvantage. Nope. Neither one of those would have hit. Oh, that's sad. Dum dum. Shoot the into the darkness. <laughs> you shoot into the darkness. Well, on the plus side, they didn't come back out the other side. Maybe they hit. <laughs> yeah. A berserker. Okay. So <laughs> Tamat yeah, right. gets up. <sighs> it's dark. <laughs> see an inky black I start, in front of I start backing up. Yeah, careful, man. <laughs> oh, we can't have you go down again. I back up to Temujin. Yep. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Temujin. Is he down yet? Oh, uh, that's my I, turn. I don't think so. I, every now and then I hear the thud of an axe and uh, the wail of one of your little bastards. We'll finish him then. Time I'm trying. Turn. Your turn. Throw your axe. Throw, or throw your hammer. It so returns to you. Oh, should I? <laughs> you can. Or would it? Would I mean, it yeah. I mean, it would you be a disadvantage. You can swing before you leave. With disadvantage, you can swing three times. I didn't know if back. I was going to be like, I didn't know if I would like have to, because I thought I was a little bit away from the darkness. You were in the edge of it. And I could swing and hit him. Oh well, then you yeah, that's what I would. Disadvantage, but you can normalize that with your being reckless. Yeah, that's what I would have done. So three swings. You know what? Normal. I've already done this. Two. No, I don't want to. I don't want to roll. I've already backed up. Okay. I, I said what I said to Temujin. All right. And it's Temujin's turn. Mm, mm. Well, I'm just gonna fill the darkness with Eldritch blasts. So, so number number one disadvantage. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Robbed of that natural 20. Yeah. Um, I've been there. Eight. Yeah, that's 17 on the other one. And. Boy, disadvantage is awfully bad for that one. Here, it's super bad for that one. Oh. <laughs> oh, I heard the set. Did you hear that <laughs> meat slap? I got that one. It was like. Oh. Bow! <laughs> the screen like. Did he just take the out distance. the most hurt one or what? Yeah, the most hurt one. Okay. The scream fades into the distance. Pretty sure I'm helping. One of those souls won't be coming back to Valhalla. <laughs> oh, come on. No. Taxes. That's how it works. <laughs> what? Taxes. Yeah, when you're in the hunger of Hadar, if something horrible happens to you, you go away. Oh, shit. He's well, opening a hole to another plane of existence. Oh. It's not quite gate, but it's close. Think of the children. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's why there weren't any bodies. <laughs> yeah. After Brian is me. Uh, I'll walk up to you and do another Cure Wounds. I like how you turn around and say, see, that's the most evil thing. And then you do things like this. What are you talking about? I didn't do... <laughs> nice. I'll get uh, 11 hit points. 11 hit points. All right. Uh, after me is... You can do it to Matt. We got this in the bag now. They still haven't killed him. So they're all straight. So, yeah, yeah. they're all straight. There's eight of them now. Miss. Miss. Uh, 14 and 5 is... 19. That's a hit. Yep. Yeah, and so 11 one. is... Uh, miss. 16. Miss. So one. And I rolled four times now. Yep. So this is 5 and 6. Miss. And six, uh, 17 is a miss. Yeah. All right. That was five and six. But I did get uh, an 18 and an 18 plus five. So that's three. Three hits. Um, yep, that's it. That's I, it. Oh, yeah, because one, um, one's, one's dead. <laughs> one's dead. All right. So did they all nine, take their nine damage? Is 18, nine is yeah, they all take their damage. Oh, yeah, they all take their damage. They all take two. They all take nine, oh, nine to more damage. Nine oh, total <laughs> damage. <laughs> Man, nine berserkers. These guys are nine damage. Eaten horribly. I wouldn't be able to hold it up much longer. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, nine times <laughs> eight. <laughs> they took seventy-two damage that round. I can just feel the experience. I'm not sure why. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm stronger than ever. <laughs> we level up My after this God. game yeah. because of the berserkers. <laughs> <laughs> I, killed, I killed nine extra bastards. <laughs> Oh my god. Every seven days we summon them for experience points. <laughs> horn, you rename the horn the horn of experience. <laughs> Just stand there, please. Don't move. <laughs> oh. 
You summon them in a cage already. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> So the berserkers did damage. Mm -hmm. uh, then then we just push the cage off the back of the boat. All right. <laughs> oh. Baelish has to take his damage, though, right? Oh, he does. Duty six. Hope I kill him. Six damage. Cold. Yeah. One, two, he gets out of the darkness. Three, does he disengage? Four, five. He doesn't have to. They're blinded, six. so they don't see him. Oh, that's true. Uh -huh. What about those two guys? Were they in the blindness? This guy? Yeah. You can take a shot. I am going to drop the spell if um, when I see him run out. Okay. It's just concentration. Man, uh, he's fast. 15 and 5 is... Yeah, he's 19. fast. 19 to hit. He used to roll twice. He just double rolled, though. 19 to hit. Okay. Because he can see him now. It's not disadvantage. He can be reckless. He might but... crit. No. Okay. So <laughs> nine more tell. damage. Did you throw it at him? He seems no. fairly hurt, although his flesh is knitting itself together as he runs. He gets that far. Okay. Uh, after him He's is pretty hurt. Cabbage Patch, then Elio. I'm going to hop over this guy. Yep. Just take a hand Still and... Loop, loop, loop. Yep. Do I have to do anything for that? No, it's whatever. You go over. How much movement did that take? Uh, six, what? Ten movement. Ten. Then I'll move this way to get cover behind this guy. Yep. When do you need cover for? And it? ten more. Ten I want to get close to these guys. What? This way? Yeah. Okay. Because if he comes at me, then I have a little buffer He's zone. He's running. Shoot him. He's running for now. <laughs> no. He might come back. He's chicken shit. <laughs> Shoot him. Well, well I'm chicken and shit. You <laughs> see me run to the wall yeah. like chicken shit? <laughs> uh, uh. Nineteen? Yeah, nineteen hits. I think I have a plus seven. Let me check that. Plus seven. Take seven. Oh, all right. It hits him in the back of one of his legs, and he starts to stagger. That's but fine. he's still trying to make his way out. Cool. Uh, after Elio is Tomat. Tomat. Uh, I'll run um, in front of the. How far can I throw this wall? <laughs> At disadvantage, you can throw it twenty feet. So you can how move far could I? Forty. Five, ten. 15, 20. You have to be like here. You can make that. Yeah, yeah. 40 move. Yeah, you can. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, well, maybe you're, you you're five away. Or 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, you can get like back one. You won't be close enough. I or won't you be could, close enough. You could move into him. And if he runs, take a swing. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably better than disadvantage. <laughs> I'll move up, but I won't go touch him. You'll get close to him. So you, you get, get 40. Like here. All right. 20 feet. Come on. <clears throat> Go on back, uh, you coward. Temujin. Okay. Mm. I pull up the rod of the pack keeper and I slide it. And I pew, pew. Go for it. Try to shoot him twice. Oh, I'll go down. If I get one. <laughs> Six damage. Oh, all right. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> so close. So close. He all is the... very hurt. Uh, let's see. After him is me. And I'll do Scorching Ray on him as he's running. Okay. 120 feet? That's yep. the range? 120 feet? 120 feet. That's pretty awesome. Three rays of fire. Uh, make a range attack for each ray. So three attacks on him. Yep. Uh, 24 and uh, it's not going to hit. Uh, nine. So 24, nine, and 17. One hits. Mm -hmm. One hits. One hits. So it is 2d6 fire. Uh, that is six fire damage. Okay. That was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Poor Baelish. Oh, did he go down? He goes down. Oh, nice. And he unfortunately stays dead. <laughs> because he did it with fire. 
which is kind of horrible. It's his own fault for running so far away. <laughs> it was the only spell he could do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else reaches. That's true. Oh. I turn back. It's too sad for him. I turn back to <laughs> my champions of Valhalla. Champions, join me and yell at the sun. For today we were victorious in killing these pathetic plant beings. Yay! Alright, they're cool. They come over. They're like, yeah. How many got left? I don't know. Eight. And now we will feast on the flesh of this cabbage man. No one cheers. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I don't even have any salad dressing. What? Who'd you lose, Dave? I go, wait, where's Eric? Eric. One of them's like, Eric! (laughs) No! (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Oh, man. You did that just in time. I was literally just going to say, I come on. (laughs) And just turn my back on them all. Okay. Because they're being disgusting. Be surprised. Still going in initiative order? How's that cover? I mean, we're going to start with them. Or we can start from the top and you guys can clear surprise. Who goes first? Uh, I would clear surprise. Berserkers would clear surprise. Okay. Uh, And then it would be them. It would be them and then Ryan. So (laughs) It'll be them. Yep. Just them. (laughs) So they go twice? So they talk for a second like, Where is Master? (laughs) And this guy runs for the fence and starts to climb over. He'll be at the top. This guy's going to attempt to eat your face. Yay. Uh, let's say 20, 21, and a crit. Isn't this how we started the combat? We'll just end the combat on the same note. <laughs> that's rough, man. So uh, so the first, <laughs> the first one you go down. So that's six. Are you down? No. Oh, okay. oh that's, that's good. good. <laughs> because those other two would have killed you. <laughs> right. Second one. Um, five plus four is nine. Down. Mm-hmm. Down yet? Mm-hmm. No? Oh, then yeah. This one. Well, you don't have to roll. Yeah. Down that it. one you don't have to roll. <laughs> well, I mean, if he doesn't have damage, he might kill you, right? <laughs> He's not going to do enough damage. You have nine, to go negative. 18, points, 22. So. Well, I have 39 hit points. Okay, so no. All right, so he's like, they get up, you're like, oh, shit. And he's like, jump, rip, rip. Da-da-da. And then he's going to move. <laughs> you were just in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I think it was the last one. So each of them have now chomp, rip, rip me the exact yeah, same. This guy's up here. He's on top of the, like, 20-foot wall. <laughs> right, whatever. He's getting the fuck out. Okay, uh, so we went, we cleared surprise, they went, uh, so Elio would clear surprise if he was alone. Nope, I rolled a death save. Yep. Matt, clear surprise, Brian, clear surprise, <laughs> then it's back to me. Took a bite out of the Elio's pizza. <sighs> How far away is that uh, guy up on top from me? I mean, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. More than 60? Yeah, he's more than 60. I only have one spell I can reach. <laughs> we burning yeah. horribleness. I guess Scorching Ray again. How many spell slots do you have left? Uh, That's my last Scorching Ray. Okay. Are you out of spell slots? After I catch cast this one, yes. Okay, you have a friend on the ground who's bleeding out. Definitely. Oh, I have first level spells. Oh, that's cool. Oh. All right. Yeah, you're bleeding out. They're running, though. Uh, he's getting where up. are you? Yeah, you assume that probably. <laughs> I was like, if you're behind the barbarians, you might not know that massive flesh. I mean, it stands up taller than they are, and then it like rips into something down here. You know. I see that, that they're trying to <laughs> you run, hear the though. screaming. Yeah. yeah. I see that they're trying to run, though, so I'll hit the one on the fence with the scorching ray. Uh, so, three attacks. Uh, that is miss, miss. plus six, so it's twelve and fourteen. Oh, it's miss. 
Hmm? I think maybe it's like a 15 to hit. They're a 15, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trash kits are 15, so miss, miss. Uh, last one is a 18. Hit. So. Five fire damage. Oh, man. It squeals. But it's still okay. You should have set it all on fire. Uh, Just see, after me. Whole place. Is <laughs> them. Berserker. Oh, Berserkers. Berserkers. Well, some of them are going to get to him. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like only one gets away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this thing gets fucked. Do you want me to roll? Berserkers. I mean, no. They'll just bring him down. He doesn't have any hit points. So they surround him and they hack, 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 hack. Maybe they should eat him. <laughs> then he goes down. <laughs> that would cause problems. <laughs> well, it only really grows from one part. It's not like a worm. I don't know what happened if you ate them. All right. Something After Berserkers, bad. it's bring, bring these them. Back to <laughs> it's them? Yep. Come back that fast. Uh, every turn. I let them stay dead long- earlier because I thought it was fun. <laughs> they were just pretending. <laughs> like, whatever. Feign death. I didn't hear him breathing as I leaped over him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, what are the Berserkers AC? 13. Okay, so two hits. Same person? Yeah. Six and four is ten. And eleven and four is fifteen. So ten and fifteen. So should we just go with the one that most is most hurt? Yeah. Let's make things easy. Fifteen? Ten and fifteen, so twenty five altogether. Yeah. Boom. Is he down? Yep. Okay. Go back to Valhalla. And, and then it attempts to move away. Can you name them all, Eric? Red nose. Yeah, yeah. Eric. Every single one. <laughs> like so George he attempts Foreman. to move away, and they hack him down. Okay, this guy's gone. So, would it be a nature check? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, now you're like something's oh. fucked up. You're just gonna do it again. You're going to use your action again? You're wow. not just going to Scorching Ray it? <laughs> I don't have any more Scorching Rays. Oh, yeah. Uh, not a botch, but a one. <laughs> Same thing. Mm-hmm. You're like, what's okay. going on? What the heck is... What is that? This? one didn't... This is perplexing. <laughs> yeah, you're like, what the shit? <laughs> Cut off his head uh, at least. I guess it technically it wasn't my us. turn, so if I used my turn to do that, then I would have to skip my next turn. But it was Berserkers, uh, them, then it is Elio. What was that? Is that your turn? Oh, that's your turn. It's my turn. death save. Okay. Oh, death save. I gotcha. Uh, Matt. I run Matt. over. To this guy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and I just start hacking at it. Or okay. mauling it. Smashing its foot or whatever. Okay. So you guys are just hacking on it and hacking on it. As long as you're hacking on it, it won't get back up. Uh, <laughs> Destroy it. One hour. Cut it all up. Eric, slice its throat. Eric's Eric. Gone. <laughs> so Eric walks around and cuts off its head. This Eric is cutting off his arm. He's cutting off a leg. This Eric, Eric is cutting off another cut arm. Cut his shoulder. This Eric is cutting off his leg. I will I smash walk, its foot. I'll walk over and do cure wounds on him. On um, this guy? Yeah. Okay. This guy. This I guy see that they're name. having it. Uh... So you recover 10 hit points. Oh, thank God. That is my last first level spell. I mean, I was ready to die, I guess. Uh, so I how long... I to botch the death saving throw. I still wouldn't have died. How long do we wait until we can try different things? <laughs> I mean, you're beating on it and hacking and stuff, and when you leave it alone, you see the vines trying to reconnect and knit together. So. Well... Can I just go through all the things I can do and just... I'm thinking of just burning all the vines down. You could. You ever seen what happens to spider webs when you light them on fire? We should be standing in an area where there's not vines. That's a good call. Do, that. do we have any fire? Of course we have fire. You guys can start a torch. Okay. Start a torch and okay. start burning. So these guys come with you. You guys leaving the area? Without inspecting any of the stuff. 
I'm just smashing that thing over and over and over again. Okay, that's let's Eric. Lead then the Eric's just fucking this thing up horribly. Go, go, get it, Eric's. <laughs> yeah, right. We could always start next week on this. I go okay. this way because I want to see. Yeah, because it is eleven twenty-four. All right, so we'll, we we'll call it here. Oh, <laughs> Rose and thorns. thorns. Oh yeah, roses and thorns. <laughs> I got one. Like, thorns. All of the dick illusions, which I also became fell prey to at some point, but it was too many and horrible. <laughs> no more dicks for you guys. No what dicks. Mean, what are you talking about? I don't Fuck you. <laughs> All right, that's my thorn. Rose. I don't get it. I got to eat in your face with trolls. That was fun. You're leaving? I used the bathroom horribly. This is for you. Whatever. Tell me after like, the camera. I, I don't pay it. attention to this shit. <laughs> also, what is for me is saving this seat from the blasting of my asshole <laughs> so I can sit it next Look, week. he's not wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have yeah, to use the restroom. You got one more time to uh, blur it out. So. He is wearing tan pants again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not wearing tan pants. Hmm. No, you can't even tell. <laughs> so, uh, who's next for Rose and Thorns? Uh, go ahead, Brian. I could go uh, over shout outs real quick. Yeah. While yeah, I guess I, I'm going to try to think of a rose and or a thorn. <sighs> what a day. I think, yeah. I feel, uh, I'm not sure what really happened. It's kind of a launch into a new, new yeah. arc. New arc. So, yeah. so, for followers, we got Ramshackle Production. Thank you for your follow. Shamrackle? Star Breeze. Daz Boyevsky. Dragon Demic. Hot Tits. No, there's no Hot Tits. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Old School Boy. I think that's it. We got, um. <laughs> thank you for letting us know about Is it the advantage. Old School Boy or Old School Boy? Oh, no. <laughs> old School Boy. Old I'm guessing. School boy. <sighs> uh, yeah, he's, he's going to be gone for a while. What campaign is this? The 11 sessions? This yeah. is session number 11. Yeah. Josh said he's listening to do Roses and Thorns. Oh, okay. Um, it's 11 sessions, dude. The thorn for me, I'm not... Oh, wait. It was Josh that asked that. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, it was Della Runs Dead. He said, go ahead and do Roses and Thorns. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah. Mostly just the campaign swap. Like, all the momentum we had built in the town is is gone, and now we're moving off toward a swamp, and so it was kind of... I'm not entirely sure what happened. Kind of was a haphazard transition. And there there was all those times where it's like, we had we had five days of time skipping and then five more days of time skipping it and it was clear that that was the goal so I didn't want to step on it but at the same time it's like well I don't know what what did we do did I literally stare at the octopus in a glass for sixteen days when every when I haven't looked at it you know in game since yeah. you want to know what you did for those days yeah. Make but a I felt like I was probably trying to balance out getting in combat at the same time. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, there, logistically, it makes sense. You had to do it to get us out of the town. Otherwise, we wouldn't have. But uh, yeah, this was not a game suited or tailored to Brian. No, no. And, I mean, you can't always have mm-hmm. games suited to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the rose side. We did have a lot of dick references. <laughs> After Rose. <laughs> Just don't spray me. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so then that's your Rose and that's his thorn. <laughs> I don't know if we've ever had one person's Rose is always the other person's thorn. <laughs> No. Everyone's like pacing. I'm like pacing. <laughs> yep. Whatever. Next. <laughs> uh, I'll say my thorn is probably uh, very similar to Brian's, where it's the day skipped. Uh, it would have been nice to you know be like, oh, what happens over 
those five days. But at the same time, like you were saying, I get it that, you know, you can't talk about what happened during those five days and still have a productive game. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I will also say part of my thorn is trolls. I don't like trolls. They're fun to play as a enemy. They're not fun to fight against as an enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody knows the weakness of trolls, and yet when you continuously roll a one to figure out what stops their regeneration, uh, it yeah, it has negatives. So uh, I'll say my rose is uh, finally getting out of the town. At the same time, yeah, you didn't so, like that. You didn't like that town, did you? It it felt like it was trapping, and we never had time. We never had downtime. Uh, it was good to get your fatigue out of the way. It was good to skip a couple days just to, you know, clear the air. Just be like, your characters aren't constantly fighting against inevitable defeat. So that's it. Until they are. Yeah. Right here. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess I, I, I get what Brian's saying. So I'm going to say the thorn would be, I it was kind of a good, a clunky transition. We, um, to be fair to Josh, though, we were um, uh, clunky. <laughs> yeah, we were we were being clunky as well, mm -hmm. right? We were kind of loopy. So, but uh, my rose was, I think we all had a lot of fun today. We laughed a lot. and That was mostly the dick jokes. Yeah. So I guess my rose, was, yeah, we had a lot of dick jokes today. It was, <laughs> it was great. Uh, definitely not a, not a PG. Yeah, not a PG day. We don't really always do that, but we were in a mode today. So, yeah, it was fun. And... Uh, that Horn of Valhalla is so cool. And I hmm. love having all these Eric's around now. <laughs> now we have to skip another seven days so you can I use feel, it on the next combat. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I think he, like this. When he put these three giants, I think he did that so we could try out our new stuff. And that's okay. Because th that is a little bit OP. But it's so good that they do it once every seven days. And usually... We're a day by day campaign, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last campaign I think was three months and we've probably passed a month in game. No, not even. Well maybe. Be besides the travel. Besides the year, you know, like that we fast forwarded through. Oh, last We're campaign. a day by day by day, minute by minute. This campaign, kind of campaign I was thinking we probably did a month so far. Yeah. Yep, and this was a like a fourth of it. <laughs> Let's see. Roses and thorns. I'll say my thorn is probably running in, clumping up together, and having a fight go this way. And it sits there. And we're all clumped together for ten rounds, five rounds, however many rounds it takes to mm -hmm. either fall down or they fall down. Mm -hmm. And there's no movement. Um, we're just there. We're clumped. And it's the product of the way we go in. Like, all right, we charge in together. But we weren't. We yell and shout and scream. We were ambushed this time. Mm -hmm. We're always ambushed. Correct. We're always ambushed. Because we're always Last running in and screaming and shouting. So that's probably giant. my thorn. <laughs> I, giant, so we don't know what's going on. Honestly mm -hmm. hoped that would resolve into some kind of, well, resolve. But... Obviously, you can't trade my life, right? Thanks. Thanks for not mm -hmm. trading my life for, um, <laughs> I'd have just ran. <laughs> you, you may I, tried, I did try to talk us out of it, but there's only so much I'm going to negotiate. So that's, that's half my rose, is that conversation with the enemies. I thought, maybe there's a chance we can get out without having a combat. And I'd have been fine with that. I don't need to fight every game. My play style is... Finding ways around things, solving problems, solving puzzles. And that's a puzzle to me. How can you do it without fighting? That's half my rose. My other half rose is um, I like Eric's. I like that they're all Eric. <laughs> yeah. That's probably my favorite part. Hot yep. tits and nine Eric's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's dude. what this episode Actually, should yeah, be called. Hot tits. hot tits and nine Eric's. 
<laughs> I'll reform the words though. We'll make a good uh, sounding title, and that'll be it. Something about hot tits and Eric's. All right, better. So that's it. Clang. Dude, it smells like it smells bad in here. I it just came smells from worse me. there. You just <laughs> came from so a shitty bathroom, and it still smells. <laughs> that's horrible. I noticed it when I came back in too. Like, oh, there you go. Anonymous said, "Hot tits lives on." That might be the title. That's right, dude. We. Yeah, I'm always gonna go down. I'm always gonna go down every combat, and that's all right. Maybe not. Go down on every combat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even put your mic back on. No, fuck it. We're D and D Breastless Club. Join breastless us next week. <laughs> <laughs> D and D Breastless Club. <laughs> Join us next week. <laughs> Oh. We're not going to have pants on next week either. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll see you all next week. <laughs>